<laughs> hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the great Dr. Bright, with a random person I found. I will shit on your desk. <laughs> Alright, so before I start the new game, because I don't know if I'll immediately start dialogue, um, in my state, <laughs> you'll get fined $500. If you curse on the beach. Yeah, I, I think you told me that one before. No, but here's how... He, 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 no, here's how it gets really fucking stupid. If, like, on, on the concrete, like, on, on the parking lot or whatever, which is not part of the beach, if you carry sand over and you're on top of sand, and you curse, it still counts. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, so it's not just... I was getting... Okay, so it's not just a stupid, like, pompous law about don't cuss in public. That's bad. It's specifically, you're not allowed to cuss while standing on sand. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? is wrong with Virginia? <laughs> why? Why is that something that's being regulated? I don't know. <laughs> are, are they scared you're gonna hurt the sand's feelings? Uh... <laughs> the only reason um. I say this is because I went to a beach with a person. I was standing, like... On the park lot with no sand, and I, I pulled the middle finger and said "fuck you." <laughs> they couldn't do anything, but the person next to me, you know, was my friend. He was standing on sand and did the same thing. They went over to him and find him. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why? So yeah, if you're just standing on sand, you get five hundred dollars in cuss. <laughs> what is the possible justification for this? I just like you imagine you going to the courtroom for this, and you're like. All right. Do you know what you did? Yeah, uh, I told the police officer, "Fuck you!" I was standing on some sand. <laughs> and then, nah, real power move. You come into your court date. You know, you get up to the judge and you say, "Hello, sir. Dump a bucket of sand on the floor. Stand on the sand. Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> We watched them just find you another five hundred dollars. Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid and broken. I. Why? Just like okay, like speaking of like weird legal things, this makes me think of. I might have told this story, but I saw a <laughs> thing about uh, a trans woman in Tennessee. Uh, oh, no. where. Uh, the, the, the headline was something to the tune of uh, um, trans woman uh, is arrested after trying to make a point about their gender identity. Something along those lines. And what happened was this trans woman had been recognized socially and by uh, I believe the human resources department in the state as being female so they go to uh, the, uh to change the m on their driver's license and that department says nope you're keeping the m on your driver's license even though we already have another governmental body in the same state saying they're female so what she did was hearing them tell her you are a male she walked outside of the place and took her shirt off. And then she was arrested for public indecency on the grounds of her showing her titties in public. <laughs> in other words, right after being told 
that she was male by the government, that same government arrested her on a female-specific crime. <laughs> I love that sort of just rebellious sentiment. Uh, I got something that's also rebellious that happened in a courtroom. Mm. I don't know what state it is, but all I know is that weed is completely illegal in all accounts. Mm. Yeah, so this guy was being brought in because in the courtroom because he was found with an ounce of pot. Uh. So, while the judge and the cop were talking to each other about the charge and everything. He pulls out uh, a, a, we, a cigar that only has weed in it. Not like nicotine and all that shit. It starts yeah. smoking it <laughs> in front of the judge. Uh, I, I can appreciate that sort of sentiment. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yes. Let's uh, get into playing horror game. Whatever the fuck this is. All that I know is also an FPS shooter. So. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna die repeatedly. <laughs> Yay. Is anyone in chat? No, not yet. Not sure. I don't think not anyone will be in chat till 8. So, uh, I would actually like to get to know the story better. Oh, there's a, there's a setting called very easy. I'm not that much of a bitch. Or are you? Skip introduction. Why would I want to show that? <laughs> Character portraits show at important moments. So well, that's kind of cool. Like it actually shows their name. Hide always. No, no let's actually see the portraits. This game is using an auto save to save your progress. Do not exit the game or turn off the oh. I, I had it be English. I don't know why it's speaking Russian. Alright, hold on. Oh, that's right. It told me to restart it in order to get it in English. <laughs> oh. For fuck's sake, how long have we been sitting here? And you didn't think, oh yeah, it gave me very explicit instructions. Maybe I should do those while we talk out of our app. <laughs> uh. My disappointment is immeasurable. All right. I'm gonna double check and make sure it says English for voice. I almost hit leave call when I went to put show it in Discord. <laughs> you just let me check if it's in English, please. Audio options. Wait, no, back. Probably game options. No. Audio oh language my. English. There we go. All right, my let's blow, try that again. My below high car is not the best at taking curves. Oh no. Let's try this again so we can actually understand what they're saying. <laughs> Just play the entire game in Russian. NAR Corporation begins trials at their proprietary recultivation technology. Look, it's Chernobyl. What the fuck? What is this? The game's themed. So the game's themed about something about Chernobyl. Yeah. Well, Chernobyl <laughs> isn't a name, as I would assume. What were you about to say? <laughs> Nothing. Before that, it's like it sounded like you were gonna ask a question. 
Oh yeah, like Igor, Oh, never mind. Sleepy head. Look, look over there. Do you remember the glade just beyond those trees? That's where you proposed to me. Wow, it is you really so fucking detailed. Sweet. You're still sweet, my professor Kimmy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? Oh, my wife's gone. <laughs> oh, she walked away. What is it, Igor? You're still half asleep. Wake up. I don't like how that I was talked to because all of a sudden it was again. It was a normal now it sounds like a ghost. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I should entertain sh Stop kidding around. stream for a moment. Uh I forgot to tweet. Uh. Oh, while well, you tweet, what what were you trying to say? Oh, I was trying to say, um, what does the sarcophagus have anything to do with? Ah, uh, with I was, I was guessing that's what you're gonna ask. Yeah. Um, after the Chernobyl disaster, um, the way that the USSR's government handled it for the time being was, uh. They went out there, had a whole bunch of people called liquidators um, clean up a whole bunch of the radioactive shit, and then they basically made a gigantic, extremely thick concrete structure around the uh, reactor that melted down, and that structure was called the sarcophagus. Oh. I thought it was talking about an actual... Sarcophagus. No, was, no, 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 no. Yeah, I was like, what does the actual sarcophagus have anything to do with the Chernobyl? It's, it's Chernobyl's <laughs> sarcophagus. And then in more recent years, we had like one of the biggest projects in all of engineering history, uh, just creating a more permanent containment for uh, the reactor. Which I've now, I've forgotten what it's called, but the sarcophagus, basically the sarcophagus was a very temporary measure because thanks to all the shit going on there, uh, the concrete would not last as long as it normally would. Yeah. Not to mention concrete, while it does do a lot to block radiation... Uh, it's still not the most efficient material at blocking radiation. Maybe I'll get to nerd out about some of my fascination surrounding nuclear history in this. Well, I say maybe as if I haven't been doing that for the past five minutes. Yeah. Like, nuclear energy is just such an incredibly interesting thing to me. And it's just, like, a small handful of really heavily publicized events that just heavily killed it. And, like, the, the nail in the coffin, obviously, was Chernobyl, which is, like, an absolute shit show of a disaster. But, like... Nuclear energy as a whole is extremely safe. Especially when you compare it to the standard energy that we're currently using, fossil fuels, which are just massively heating up the Earth's atmosphere. Yeah. Also, um, I went to go on Twitter, and I kid you not, they changed the bird icon on, like, desktop yeah. to the doge. Why? Yeah, I saw that. 
I've been laughing about it with some friends in DMs. It's weird. <laughs> For what reason? I'm pretty sure either Twitter or Elon Musk now had uh, ownership of the Dogecoin. Uh. You sleepyhead. Back when that was still a thing. Yeah. Okay, so the thing is, I can only read the big print. Yeah. The bright future of science. That's an ominous thing to set together. Yeah. There's actually a reason why I can't read small print like that, even if I was able to. Uh, is that... Um, I actually have to wear glasses to read small print like that. My eyes, like, have huge strain, and, and I get headaches if I try reading small print like that. Gotcha. Main reason why I like manga the most <laughs> when reading. <laughs> Igor. Yeah. It's not normal. You propose to me. My wife is one of the the, the daughters of Demetrius. And sleep. My professor came in. What? Oh, I was making a Resident Evil joke. Um, I I'm still avoiding spoilers. For you. Oh, sorry. I I didn't mean to. I forgot. I'm my bad. It's a good thing I barely understood what you said. That's good. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Peppy, do you want to get yourself killed? Peppy is very aggressively playing with Festus's tail. <laughs> oh, that's... That is green lightning. That's normal. I've actually seen black lightning before. Really? Yeah. It's... I have no idea how that's produced. I don't know how. It's just that I think it's like really rare though. I mean, I would imagine. Yeah. I would think like maybe it's like... You know, like acid clouds or whatever. It maybe that's why it turned black instead of the normal color. Uh, Could be like pollution. That would make sense. Yeah. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ! Like, oh, what hello. <laughs> Gee, what the fucking hell? <laughs> I like how we're looking at like, oh, that's a bunch of lightning. Look at that. <laughs> I'm in danger. What gave you that impression? <laughs> like how I just afforded every lightning bolt. Oh. Jesus! That. Oh, wow. Well, that a lightning bolt gave me a gun. <laughs> this is one hell of a dream. <laughs> now Peppy's laying on Festus's tail. Oh. Huh? Yeah. You probably have limited ammo, you dipshit. Also, welcome to what I assume is Provina. <laughs> I didn't give him a chance to get up. I just immediately gunned him down. <laughs> Complete the Hi there. Are you paying attention to the uh no. tutorial thing? <laughs> it's right on your screen. I'm hitting A to die. Oh, I actually have to move. 
Oh, I have to double tap. You've got Chernobyl zombies. I'm dead. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I don't have my gun anymore. You, you did die. You were just immediately uh, sent backwards, it looks like. No, I think. No, you haven't been here, have you? Uh, no, I'm sent closer. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> then I guess that was supposed to happen. Photo, look at. Oh, what the fuck? This motherfucker's Why tripping balls. My old workshop. Uh, I will steal Let's that. Hurry, this reality is coming apart, can't you see? Discord stream is having a normal one. Uh, I need more electro pop. Uh, I almost said electroponic parts, electronical parts. <laughs> I need electric kakalakis. Oh. FDT, Property of Future Deterrence Technologies? I... <laughs> I also just realized it might be hard for you to Get avoid to any work. insensitive jokes given the setting of this game. What? Wait, what do you mean? What jokes? Chernobyl set in U... Or Chernobyl is in Ukraine. Oh, God. Did you not know that? I thought it was in Russia. <laughs> well, it's... it. It's in former Soviet Union state known as Ukraine. <laughs> like, um, they even... Like, it, it, they even mentioned Ukraine in there. In the, like, thing at the start of the game. Mm. Oh... Uh, radioactive or borealis? Screw around. Yeah. Let's just hope our source comes through and we don't run into any patrols on the way. And what if we do? We will improvise. That's what our sleeping beauty here paid us for, remember? Sure, sure. Do you really think they'll test this recultivation re something? I haven't seen any signs of that, but I'm telling you, something's up. There are way too many contractors for such a small area. We can handle the contractors. They're probably some of Wagner's rejects. Fuck you. I fought alongside those guys. I know. I'm just messing around, Anton. Let's focus on getting our professor here some of this. Chernobylite? Oh, I think some of those... What's called? Igor? Igor. Some of those pictures that were coming up were, I think, pictures of... The modern containment. Wake up, Igor. We have to go. What? I must have dozed off for a moment. Let's go. Oh, I get friends. Maybe I won't die as much. <laughs> Maybe. Watch the second we yeah, enter, the they die, and I'm on my own. <laughs> Not a chance. But, but also, I'm going to be real. There's a good chance I'm going to be extremely aggravated with this game. Simply because it's probably going to do the standard thing of depicting yes, radiation as green. You two take care of your part, and I'll take care of mine. All right? Try to keep a low profile. Last thing we want is a. I mean, it, the game looks really good, like so far, like the yeah. textures and everything. It's something that needs to be done. I don't like riddles. Yeah, it was definitely worth thirty bucks. You're the boss. Reminds me right. of that night I thought it would be sixty bucks if it looks like this.
Wait, the only weapon I have is a knife. This might be a problem. Misha, we can't. We have to fall back. The pressure's dropping. Downstairs. Now. Go, go, go. This is no time for bird watching, Igor. Let's go. Through the fence. Into the sewers. Sewers. Oh, yeah, that's the modern containment. The we got. Uh, it's nothing but I forget its name. Aren't we still unable to go into the actual center? Still? Oh, I can't remember. So I thought it was like way too highly radiated that you would die if you go in the center. I'm not sure if it's still a thing or not. I, I want to say that you could go in there for like a short amount of time without getting too irradiated. But it's still just not a wise idea. Yeah. I literally read Anton's name as Afton. Like for Finance of Freddy's. God damn it. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid Finance of Freddy's stuff and then I just read that as their name is Afton. <laughs> Respond politely or tell them off. <laughs> what, what do you want to do? What the hell is your problem, Anton? Sorry, it was just a joke. I told him off because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Shit, Igor, get down. Get to the sewer entrance. We're right behind you. The sewer entrance. Oh, I get left behind. Great. Thanks. Okay, I'm crouched. Stay in the shadows. Why did they make the grass so detailed? <laughs> it's so... I, I like it as detailed. <laughs> oh god. I did not mean to uncrouch and go towards the light where they told me not to go. Go oh, into the light bright. Definitely not radioactive over there. Okay. Yeah, I... I noticed the compass a while ago. Become invisible. Become invisible? <laughs> what do you mean? It's a figure of speech, you bitch. <laughs> oh, there's a guard. Wait. What? How do I go around? Because I need to go over there. No entrance over here. I just have to go around. Oh, I probably have to go around the train. I'm a sneaky little agent. This is. Hi there! You do not see me. I'm really questioning why the fuck you're breaking into Chernobyl. Okay. So I'm gonna see his pattern. That way I don't die. <laughs> it's the only thing I got is a knife. They have a gun.
You won't see me. Okay, so... Oh, wait. How does this go? Oh, hi there! I love how your first instinct when you see someone walking around wasn't to act just immediately crouch down. It was to say, oh, hi there. Take a second to walk to your left. Or to your right, and then crouch down. Hello, it's my friend. Eagle, hey, over here. Keep your voice down, you fucker. Hi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's gonna draw their attention. <laughs> used to work here, remember? Yeah, I'm sure. Wait, I can't move. Oh god! Hi there! <laughs> <laughs> Look into his eyes, Igor. No, I actually can't move. I am stuck! Well... <laughs> move! Can you jump? No. <laughs> How do oh, yeah. I break games like this so easily? <laughs> you just end up standing in the wrong place, and this happens. Yeah, now I have his cock up my ass. <sighs> Load last checkpoint. Uh, much less it is. Oh, I'm all the way back yeah, here. Oh, hi, Book. Hey, Book. Brad's trying to break into Chernobyl for some reason. Stay in the shadows. Also, Book, I did not tweet anything. And you have no proof of it. What did you tweet? The stream. What? Why did you say that? Because I can. Because you're stupid. That's, that's... I have two felines. You know what I'm gonna do? I saw. Become invisible. You know what I'm gonna do? Cause I'm interested to see what happens. Hello, motherfucker. I just immediately stab him. I'm the tank guy. I'm here about the power outage. This is the place, right? First, let's see some ID, tech guy. He doesn't believe you. Uh, talk way out of it. Shit, that's gotta be here somewhere. Guys? Look, let's not make this complicated. You forget about the badge, and I'll forget about that bottle. No ID, huh? What happened? Leave it in your own purse? <laughs> Sorry for the mix up. We'll let it slide this time, but only this time. Get it? Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> I get away with stabbing the guy. Uh. <laughs> just stab him. <laughs> and thanks for a hundred bits for the hello motherfucker book. You sure this is the right entrance? I used to work here, remember? Yeah, I'm sure. Keep your damn voice down. Yeah, 
so you probably have to wait for him to come over so those two can open it. It's just so funny and funny. I walk over to the guy, stab him, and it goes like, Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> he's really, he's really buzzed. Yeah. Like, I just imagine the knife being stuck in the neck, and he's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's like an even more absurd version of like Skyrim sneak shit. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, it's probably just the wind while there's an arrow in the guy's head. Portal generator? The portal generator? High tech tool that uses Chernobylite to create stable wormholes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Point six. Not great. Not terrible. Chin up. We're safe for another hour or so. All right. None of you are safe. Damn. Now yeah, you're thinking <laughs> with portals. Uh. I hope you have a good memory. Okay, I'll take point. Yes, sir. Uh... Captain Olivier, sir. You should kick them down the hole. Wait, there's no ladder. Yeah. Kick them down the hole. What sewer grate doesn't have a fucking ladder? A lot of them. Really? Every yeah. sewer grate that I've seen has a ladder. If I'm not mistaken, especially in older designs. It was pretty common for them to not have ladders to just Forget save on engineering. Right now, but yes, all it needs is more so instead of building in ladders, you expect the people working in them to bring a ladder. Uh, also, we're stealing Chernobylite. That's why we're here. That doesn't explain much. Oh, God. The numbers are too high. We have to get out of here. We can't leave him behind, dear God! Let me out of here! Let me out! Alexander Boresovich, someone has to open the valves manually. Someone has to go inside. Okay, so... When it that happened, the radioactive meter went up. Mm -hmm. That's not a good thing. Oh, it's going up. And now it's going back down. Take the other one, Olivier. Oh, look at Bright Boy over here. Okay, it's your show. But if you get us killed, I'm gonna be pissed. Good. The unaware enemy for stealth takedown. Or last time. <laughs> Sprite, oh, then bitch. again, he was aware. Oh, wait, I gotta do something right here. I had to. You're such a child. Oh, for a second, I thought he was the bad guy. <laughs> what was that, Eagle? Shoot him. All right, Eagle. You're the star. Ready to execute the plan. I'm accessing the terminal. If the AZ-5 button is still working... Ah. Eagle, don't! Tatiana? What are you stalling for, Igor? Time is critical here. Don't press the button, but be honest. Don't press the button, make an excuse. Press the button! It's nothing. Just tired. Right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Please focus on your job, and I focus on mine. Get back to it, then. The reactor room, now!
Nonsense. It was just a fire, nothing more. We'll get it under control. RBMK reactors do not explode. The reactor core is exposed. I can see the graphite on the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. You killed us, you arrogant son of a bitch. You've killed us all. What the hell? Did I cause Chernobyl? Oh, what the actual fuck? What about the radiation? Let's get this done quickly. Sorry, am I holding you up? This is Chernobylite hatchet. Oh, it's even colder than I remember. Why the, f why the fuck are you not wearing a hazmat suit? A much smaller fragment. But enough of my initial studies. Are you going to tell me how this fancy gun of yours works? It creates a kind of shortcut through time and space. It's called a wormhole. It forms a tunnel with two mouths. It, it needs an exotic energy source to keep it open. Exotic energy. Uh, that's the Chernobylite? Exactly. And where does this shortcut lead? It leads wherever it needs to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? What? My fiance. Hey, I'll be right back. She disappeared uh. here during the disaster 30 years ago. Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. Oh, he's dead. Hi there. You, why are you here? See you, bitch. Olivier? Where the hell did you go? Olivier? But there he is. Listen, I... Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anson was... Uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Somehow he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Now, to confirm this theory... Stop. That doesn't matter right now. Can he get to us here? And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but highly unlikely. I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. This way. You'll come out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. <sighs> My arm. Oh, it feels like the muscles have been twisted from the inside. I'm going to execute that black masked motherfucker, Anton. I promise you. Oh shit. She went unlocked. Last mask wearing motherfucker. It's like a snake shedding his skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Day one, Chernobyl morning. Singularity, tearing at the fabric of reality. The foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time. Go. Uh, 
of these gates more than I can count let's go in together my love I need to find a way to reduce my rad levels first look for a little bottle the label will say potassium iodide DTPA and Prussian blue it helps with radiation poisoning Anti-radiation medicine. Fuck yeah. I can make food. I'm gonna house it. Returned. Oh, hey, Hatchet. Bitch. Uh, apparently in this game there's a thing called, um, anti-radiation medicine. Okay. Yeah, sure. Gotcha. That doesn't just, like, make no fucking sense at all. And now I'm about to make some food. Oh, wait. I need herbs and chemicals. Very descriptive. Oh, here we go. Healing salve. Okay. <laughs> he just appeared out of thin air! Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Okay. <laughs> but yeah, real talk. What the fuck is radiation medicine? <laughs> I don't know, but it got... It decreased my radiation levels. Hands where I can see them. What's the password? Try to recall password. I can't think with that gun pointed at me. Igor? Damn it. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It was your idea, goddammit. Come on in. Igor, you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. This is your element, my sweet. Create order from this chaos. Oh, what the fuck? I am a god. <laughs> I can... Boom! I have a desk! <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> I don't know! Why did you go from infiltrating Chernobyl to, like, decorating a fucking bunker? I don't know, but I now have a desk! <laughs> and why do you need a desk? Bestus, you are not getting any of my tendies. I'm greedy. 
Fuck off. I'm cleaning this place up. Buildables and upgrades. I should probably try opening stream chat so I can see what's going on. Okay, so I can't make it that bad, can't make that, can't make that, can't make that, can't make that. Uh, fuck, what, which button is back? Oh, tab's back, okay. Uh, so the medicine you use is potassium iodide, which apparently is useful for protecting your thyroid from radioactive iodine. That's what Bookworm said. Uh, okay, that makes some sense. It wouldn't just get rid of radiation. <laughs> well, apparently that's what it did. Okay, so I can't make anything else. Only a thyroid, however, and it's only used for small amounts of radiation. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that shit ain't gonna help you significantly enough if you're dealing with higher doses of radiation or radiation burns. <laughs> I see Mikkel's old radio is working again. Yes, Anton fixed it before we left. It should be usable. I'm sorry, Olivier, really. But we need to focus on what's ahead of us. Oh, what the hell? Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out... everything. We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Most likely, yeah, we probably should get a plan first. Okay, Olivier, let's hear your plan. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power plant and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, will document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this right. Great. I'll do I feel like I arguing with a man who knows more about than I do would be stupid. <laughs> One last thing before you go. NAR uses weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. I presume you know how to handle firearms. Fuck yeah. A revolver. Faith in you, Igor. Oh, yeah, I do have limited ammo. <laughs> you should never have faith in someone named Igor. I tried jumping off to see if, we, if I could, but there's an invisible wall. <laughs> no. Ah. You're not okay. getting any of my tendies. Everything from here. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself? Ah. Uh... So if we acknowledge the fact that you're probably talking to your dead wife in your head. Yeah, probably. Okay, we can either go to Moscow, which is very far away. Pripyat port. 
Damn, yeah, you can go all over the place. There's the red forest. Well, Moscow has medicine, which is actually useful. Red forest has food. Crit Pyat Poor has ammo, which is which isn't necessary at the moment right now. How yeah. did you pronounce that? Pripyat Port? Pripyat. Pripyat, okay. I, I, I said it multiple times today. So the main question is, do we... Do we want medicine? Or food? I just realized, we see his reactive level, which is 66%. Ours is unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Why is ours unknown? <laughs> We're not allowed to see that. I guess we'll go for food. You okay. are radiation. Uh, status healthy, unstable. Mission undefined. Rel relation status neutral. Oh, either I go or he goes. Okay, so what I could do is I can have him get food, and I get medicine. Yeah. Chance of success, 51%. Okay. Hope he doesn't die. Okay, so... That's this. I want to see how he would do for medicine. Okay, so he actually have a higher success at getting medicine. 66%. Okay. So that's a better thing. He has a higher success at getting medicine, that'll be better. God's best, this is annoying me. Flip a coin, this book. <laughs> so I get food, he gets medicine. No, I get food. He gets kicked off the bed. What the fuck? Oh, we weren't talking about Festus? No. <laughs> <laughs> he failed Wallace's book. Uh. Stop staring at me. You don't need chicken. Fuck off. Wait, I can build while out here. Build a table. Give it to the monsters. Oh, I can build traps. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? Um... I don't know what I just made. A trap? Maybe. Yeah. Can't build a landmine. I built a landmine. <laughs> you just randomly build a landmine. You're a very <laughs> resourceful person. The chicken good Festus knows and he wants. <gasps> well, too bad. Oh, oh you do fun. not know how stubborn I can be, Bookworm. I've been wanting chicken tendies for a fucking week now. Oh shoot, it's 8.30. I'll be right back. You gotta take Bust out. Alright. Uh, I'm putting him on the bed. So, I'll be back. Okay. Anyway, how's it? Stir. 
monster. Who thinks I am coming to the street? Monster. Monster. Okay, yeah, I am. Loki, what are you doing? Stop staring at me, Festus. You're not getting any chicken. He's just fucking loafing and staring at me from across the room. That's fair, Pokemon. Good to hear, though. I am um, doing decently well. Pretty standard. Got one hell of a headache right now, but otherwise, I'm good. I'm wondering if you're really far behind. So I asked that question a while ago. Plotting his next move. God damn it, fine. You get one piece of chicken. There. Ah, oh, gotcha. I am currently saying, or I am currently reacting to your probably the five to ten seconds hold on, I'll time it thing. Wait, isn't there a thing to, like, specifically look at the latency going on on Twitch? God damn it. I gave you a piece. That's it. No. Don't lick your fucking chops. Get I have the 10 what now? I was just talking about like uh, bookworms a bit behind so I was trying to figure out how long it took. Ah. Uh. Also, can Festus please stop staring at me? The answer is no. Join me, Igor. I'm close. I'm gonna steal food by an abandoned orphanage. Look at me. Look at this place. What? <laughs> I can't bear it. How many Piss off! <laughs> God, I, I love you, but please, fuck off! With I gave you your one piece of, of chicken. That's all you get. Ah, V. Okay, there we go. I forgot how to use my flashlight. Oh, it's oh, close no. to 20 seconds. Just use the stream timer. Yeah, fair. That is Chernobylite. I cannot go down there. The food is probably old, lol. <laughs> Get ready for old food. Fuck yeah, I love eating mold. I mean... Do you eat cheese? <laughs> no, not really. You don't eat cheese? Huh. 
Wait, don't you eat pizza a lot? Uh, only when it's bought for me. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> Jesus Christ! That poor man. I just repeatedly stabbed him. Well, I got food. Finish your first quest. When you're ready, use the portal generator from your inventory to go back to the refuge. Like, what the hell has happened? Is it, like, gone post-apocalyptic all of a sudden? Uh, no. As far as I know, it's not. It's just that the Chernobylite is used to make uh, portals. I think I think we're still in Chernobyl, just in the outer parts. Well, Chernobyl is this approach the... is working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Trusting your instincts is important. I the last that. time we tried that, we lost Anton. We need some hard evidence before we go down that road again. <laughs> Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Good. Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You need to understand the role you're in. You hired me and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist, like this is a military operation. Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's number one. Starving is no fun, I know from experience. Forget to feed your troops, and their morale will drop. They might even desert you. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pulled their weight are surefire ways of creating discord amongst the men. What men? There are only two of us. For now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. We need more power, more intel, more skill, and more bodies. And each of those bodies will need space, food, and resources in this base. I know you're eager to bolt out there and continue your search, but you need to be patient, plan, strategize, and take it slow. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. You're right. I need to be smart about all of this. Absolutely. And remember, I'm here for you. I will advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for. What do I have? Mission <laughs> success, food draw. Success! Oh, you got all the medicine. So. Festus, the food's gone. Except, sure you want to finish the food distribution? Yes. Alright, All right, so we got normal amount of food. Go on a heist! This is just a GTA thing now. <laughs> I don't think GTA tends to have to do with nuclear reactors. Okay, so I actually wait, never mind, there's the doomsday heist. Yeah, it's getting dark. Stay at your base to get some sleep. Explore the zone tomorrow. Igor, the gun yeah. I gave you 
has traveled all around the world with me, but it's quite old. The big baby. What do you think about building a calibration tool to upgrade it? Big handsome baby. Upgrade your weapon with calibration tool. Sounds good. I'll fabricate one when I get the chance. You need it, Igor. That dead. Gods, I love this cat. Have I made that readily apparent yet? <laughs> Weaponsmith. Yes. Am I being picked? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, really, Chew? Hey, Chew. Okay, so I can't... I don't have... Enough away. It's not what I was even supposed to... Calibration tools. I don't have flammable parts. <laughs> Why did you pronounce it flammable? Because fuck you. It's flammable. There's no E there to make it flammable. Oh shit. We don't have any herbs. Make beds. Wait, why is one of the beds, the most com comfortable bed, need chemicals to make? <laughs> um. I don't know. <laughs> I hear you a bus stuff. Chemicals make it soft, maybe? <laughs> Oh, I can scrap this. Oh, I can no longer make a bed. I will train you in the ways of guerrilla warfare, and you will defeat Busta. I will train Festus up so that Festus may defeat Busta in honorable combat. Busta's trying to get behind the gate. <laughs> This revolver needs an overhaul, Igor. A calibration tool would do the trick. And up my game to survive train, show equipment. Yes, I should have a chance to accept a clean mission with the right equipment. <laughs> and remove from team. <laughs> my only teammate. Fuck you, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. You're not allowed here. Sure, whatever you need. Bookroom says. Lull the two pets controlling the stream. I kind of think it's just enriched adrenaline. Enriched adrenaline. Okay. Don't I don't know what that means. <laughs> Drugs. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Place the alcohol as your current weapon. Place the adrenaline as your current armor. Oh, I have to give him another gun if I find one. Okay. Wait, he doesn't have a gun. Why did he give me his gun? Because you're the leader. You're probably a touch more important to have a gun. Okay, so I actually go out back to Outback Steakhouse and get some herbs. Outback? What the fuck? No, I cannot. Well, oh, there's nothing wrong going to the Outback Steakhouse. So here's the problem I can't make a bed. <laughs> So I was gonna say it's highly unlikely that they have outback steakhouses in Ukraine. It's 
sleep was for a week, says Buck. You know what? I agree with it. I won't sleep tonight. Bookworm also says, or just sleep on the floor. Oh, this is Igor's room. Uh, why does he get to live in luxury? You are Igor. Oh. Are you <laughs> kidding me, Bright? <laughs> Are you, are you actually fucking kidding me? You... What in the fuck am I looking at? Book war. <laughs> you have been referred to as Igor since the game began. Anytime your character speaks, it says that your name is Igor next to your voice lines. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Just walk into your room. Ah, who's Igor? Why does he get to live in luxury? <laughs> Igor, I need a minute. What's going on? Something's up. NAR is being really active on the radio. They're looking for someone. Supposedly a traitor and a thief. I managed to pinpoint the location. It's called Pachi, the village near the Pripyat River. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something important or have access to useful gear. What do you think he could know? Passwords, credentials, uniforms, even rations. And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. If you're smart and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. I'm glad you see my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. Okay. Hmm. Oh shit, he's at 36% health. <laughs> Give him health. So I guess I'll go to Kopachi, because most likely Oliver will die if he goes there. Should probably get him medicine. Sixty-six percent. Eighty percent for an ammo drop right there. Sixty-six percent. Bookworm says, "Let him die." Oh, Bookworm says, "Gotta clip it after stream." Twitch mobile being bad. Gotcha. God. Why does Igor get to live in luxury? <laughs> I thought Oliver was Igor for a moment. Fuck you. <laughs> he calls you Igor every time he talks to you. But can you ever trust a traitor? Hi, Buster. Trust is such a fragile thing, earned at a great price, yet so easily lost. But you never lost your trust in me, right, my love? I never lost the trust in your booby. That's it. <laughs> that was really stupid. Yes, it was. Look on Redeem Bonk Hatchet. Bonks are well worth it for booby. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I love saying it like that. It's so stupid. Did she get inside this house? Hello, I'm not breaking and entering. And you're just probably trespassing. I'll take that. <laughs> That's actually back where I came out of. Hello, is there any booby? Fuck. <laughs> 
Is saw... there any radioactive titties in this? <laughs> There's a lot of children beds in here. I think I'll drop the titty jokes, considering large amounts. Okay, of okay, hey. I can't, I can't move. I literally could not move, because he put me in a corner. Maybe it's an af actual orphanage. That, mm, that might be the case. Also, what the fuck is the shadow? I don't know. Well, I didn't lose any bullets, so it's fine. Yeah, you tr instead of losing bullets, you lost large amounts of blood. <laughs> Just imagine going to war with a soldier. He's like, oh, don't worry, I didn't lose my gun, and there's he has an arm that's blown off. <laughs> it's like, listen, listen, everything's kind of shit right now, but at least I didn't lose any bullets. And his arm just, like, just pops off. What? Give me a moment. Bust is trying to pull the, the blanket off the bed. Ha! Go, Busta. Cause destruction. Bust, come on. Destroy, Busta. Busta, destroy it all. Burn it down. Burn it all down, Busta. Burn it. Uh, what? So uh, someone just yelled, "Igor, Igor." Oh. Someone's in need of assistance. I assume. I can climb. I cannot. Now I'm confused. Oh, that's a helicopter. Bookworm says it's Busta's blanket now, lol. True. Look sharp, this asshole's gotta be around here somewhere. Eyes open. I don't need any more shit from Kozlov. I know, I know, damn Samishels. Nothing but thieves, drifters, and lunatics. Life, lunatics? Oh, I got food rations. What sane person would choose to live in this irradiated wilderness? We asked them nicely to leave, yet they're still fucking resisting. Hey, you're right. I wouldn't be here either, but they pay better than the army. They must be looking for our mystery guy. Oh, really? Also, can can I ask why why does Igor? I say why does Igor uh sound British? I don't know. I got adrenaline. Oh, I now have a new gun. Congratulations. Oh wait, no, I just took the. I'm just looting the corpses. <laughs> yeah, as far as I know. Yep, this is my only gun. Hey, don't hurt me! I'm... I'm unarmed! Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I know traitor. I was never even with the NAR. You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off. And... And what? One thing led to another, and you understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so they cooked up this yarn about a traitor. 
Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. You're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in the Kyle's warehouse. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably worried about me. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. Uh, no, you're not. We have no idea who this guy is, Igor. If we turn him loose, he could run straight back to NAR and trade our lives for their forgiveness or some other kind of deal. Don't you even think about letting him go, at least not before combing through his stuff. Something off about this guy, but, it's, but he sounds sincere. Or are trying to search him? Alright, Bookworm, you decide. I would say try to search him. We'll see if Bookworm agrees with you, Hatchet. Search him. <laughs> We're about to be a cop. Sorry, but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? <laughs> let's take a little look see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. Uh, it doesn't seem dangerous at all. After all, it's too risky to just let him walk free. Stop him or let him go. Stop him. Is that what you want to say, Hatchet? Okay. We're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler or maybe you're a spy. I can't just let you walk away. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Ball's in your court, asshole. Oh, God, either kill him or what? let him go. What the fuck? No. Okay, just let him go. Jesus. Guess that one was a colossal fucking waste of time. Great. Your status with Oliver got worse. Your current status is bad. Okay, I can't shoot him. <laughs> I tried shooting him as they let him go. <laughs> uh. Now Oliver's gonna be pissy, but like, come on. Why is our only option to kill him? I don't know. And plus, we need allies, too. Because he could rat us out through... Yeah. That is true, he could rat us out. Go back and shoot him. Oh. He... Status... Uh... Oh, he failed. Status unhealthy. Unstable. Missing trouble tasks. You failed your mission. Which food we got? Okay, we got a good amount of food. During the mission, your, your companion gets hurt badly. and impacts their health and psyche. They're not... There are not enough beds, which force some companions to sleep on the floor. It'll take a toll on their health and psyche. Well, luckily, I can make a bed. Killing wounds to start patients or to psyche when you throw zero stress becomes. Deal with physical damage. You can raise your psyche by consuming regular meals at the base, as well as using special items that you can create. Okay. Oh, there he is. I'm wounded, Igor. Can you get me a first aid kit? Give him medicine. I feel better already. Relationship status bad. Psyche is still. 
Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your military tricks? <laughs> no. There are no tricks or shortcuts when it comes to improving your survival skills or shooting. But I'll be happy to teach you some basics. It'll make my job easier too if you know how to handle yourself out there. Oh, I don't have any skill points. Maybe some other time. You're the boss, Igor. Alright, so now I should be able to make a bed. Oh my gosh, no. Wait, no. Don't tell me. I don't have enough herbs. God damn it. Well, looks like he's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> he's already mad at me, so soon I'm going to be on my own. Alright, let's see if he rats us out. Roger that, Rhino One. Proceed as ordered. The area is clear. You copy? Leave it Charlie, Bluebird. We'll get to the target ASAP. Over and out. Posing as the enemy, you're playing a dangerous game, Olivier. I know what I'm doing. I've learned their code names and routines. Knowing your enemy is essential. Hold on. You know what? Fuck it. Clever. We need to get the upper hand over NAR whenever we can. Agreed. I wasn't trained in cracking codes, but I know how to crack people. And this radio works perfectly with NAR encryption. I discovered something that may be of interest to you, Igor. NAR is sending a team out to locate some old KGB documents. Could be related to what you're looking for. Sounds like a long shot, but it must be important if they're sending a squad, right? My thoughts exactly. Also, it looks like there's an old Soviet installation beneath the Emerald Resort. I know the place. Young pioneers used to have their summer camps there and play games. Yeah, and the KGB was playing a different sort of game just beneath them. Underground. I'll check it out. Oh. Anything that might get me info on Tachana is worth a try. Just, uh, keep your feet on the ground, okay? Good luck, Igor. So obviously, I need to go here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, says the bread. Guess this is my stream again. Welcome to the Hatchet stream. Today we'll be, be we will be discussing hatchets and their various uses throughout history. Hatchets, as you may be aware, are a type of axe. Axe, roughly being defined as an implement with a head and a blade, designed for chopping of wood or other implements. Thus, a hatchet, though, is specifically, generally speaking, considered to be a smaller axe, meant for ease of transport and smaller tasks where you may need an axe. They also have a long history being used as weapons, of course. Examples of hatchets in history include, but are not limited to, I'm forgetting all of them, but they are in history. <laughs> As such, it is important to understand that hatchets are, are love, and hatchets, they are life. Never forget about hatchets. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.
Hello again, class. Today, we will be discussing... <laughs> Bookworm. Today, we will be discussing the historical application of the wheel. And specifically... And specifically, why some Central American pre-colonial societies did not use the wheel. The wheel has been invented, from what we can tell, multiple times by several different cultures throughout history. No, no, this is awful. This would be an awful YouTube channel. <laughs> As you know, it is... It... Where was I? I don't know. The wheel being roughly defined as a circular implement on an axle to allow for the movement of objects or vehicles of such is one of the most important inventions in human history, allowing for the creation of said vehicles to be bound to animals or otherwise transport us. What in the hell are you talking about? I'm going on a weird tangent, okay? <laughs> I turned it into the hatchet show. First I talked about hatchets terribly, and then I was talking about wheels. Got a good amount of food, but... Add small shoe whining. <laughs> 69%. Instead of rip, rup. Oh. Fire Thank Red you, Emblem Bookworm. has gifted a sub to Mui Yay. underscore Chew. <laughs> and the Twitch always says Mui, it says M-U-I. Now it's like urge to bite people violently. <laughs> Rup. Okay, so Rip oh. means rest in peace. What yeah. So what would Rup mean? I don't know. Also, I love how going after ammo, he has a high chance of success, but going after food is 29% success. Rest under penis. Seeing what he'll... To have the rest, highest chance for rest, ulterior rest, ulterior prostate. <laughs> all right, we all we know go. you were, Chew, We all know you were alluding to a penis. They're supposed to rest on the penis, not thought under thought the penis. There were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around. Oh, I mean, we like. Should we talk about blowjobs again? Oh God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should we tell? Should we tell Bookworm and Shu about the I Virginia mean, law? You... <laughs> I don't know what an ulterior prostate is, though. Lol. <laughs> But what if they go flops? <laughs> I've seen much function. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Why did you? What? Why did you randomly say that? Because they can. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> anyway, uh oh, bookworm says, "What is VA doing this time?" You want to tell them? Or should I describe it? Uh, you go ahead. Okay, so there's a law in, uh, Virginia in which if a police officer sees you engaging in 
blowjobs, you can be fined $500 on the spot, basically. Bright described this by mentioning that they knew someone who was getting head in their car and a police officer just walks up, looks in the car, and then finds them. And you see, the thing that I'm confused about is that, like, if the issue is with it happening somewhere in public, this already exists as a criminal offense in the form of public indecency. But they felt the need to make a very specific law about blowjobs in particular. Yeah, that really makes me question, what happened <laughs> to like some lawmaker in Virginia to where he's like, nope, we're legalizing public blowjobs. Specifically. Bookworm says, I mean, that isn't the best practice because public, yeah. But like, it's just like the wording of the law that Bright described is just weird. It's like, specifically, if a police officer sees it happen, you get fined. This kind of implies that if a police officer ends up in a person's home, and the blowjob is happening there, you get fined. <laughs> Praise, bitch. That was me. Fuck. I, I said pull a gun. It keeps moving. Bitch. Oh, I have a... I'm at full health. They barely took any damage off me. You have reached a new level. You have one skill point available. You got shot several times. What the fuck is Igor made of? I I don't know. I am invincible. Next piece of exposed uranium you see, you better eat that bitch. Oh, I can't go in there because I don't have a lockpick. Alright, gotta hit Tad to get out of there. Okay, I'm gonna need ammo. No read. Uh, report number 65 uh, 5 of 1986 to major whatever. As yeah, so we pre previously agreed, all critical documents, uh, more, more DMs, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to the secured area and bunker 007 at Emerald Camp. Burn the rest of the archives immediately. Agent L. whatever. Varnivov. Voronivov. Va yeah. Oh, also, Bulkworm says OMG, and apparently, at least what I see on this site, Virginia's slogan for tourism is Virginia is for love. Oh shit, I did not mean to go. Fuck, I, I pulled out the wrong, <laughs> wrong one. They're I just a failure. Did that on mission. I just killed two random people for no reason because I banned the mission. <laughs> you teleport in, shoot two random guys, teleport out. Yeah, so I failed. Mission failed, all documents. Yes! Ah. Chew says hot. Don't know why. Okay, so we're, we are going to need food. That's, that's a pretty normal thing to need when you're a human. Oh, wait. 
Oh, it's because I still have my adrenaline thing going. That's probably why I didn't take much health damage. <laughs> Oh, you still you still have the adrenaline in your veins? <laughs> yes, because that's what you see on the side. That weird black stuff. <laughs> it's the um, adrenaline. That can't be healthy. Sounds good. I'll fabricate one when I get the chance. You need it, Igor. I wonder if I have something in my own inventory that can just heal me. And chew bite people violently? No. Well, unless they consent. But in that case, you'd probably be the one asking to be bitten. Al I got alcohol. Drink the alcohol. It's basically actually... just Russian blood. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have any medicine because the guy failed the mission. Mm. You really need to get some more people in here. Yeah. Come to think of it, maybe that guy would have joined you if you had just said let him go right off the bat. It's like at some other point later, he just like shows up and says, hey, uh, can I join you or some shit? Now he's got a bed. Congratulations. You have created a bed for your friend. Now he's gonna go out and fail to find medicine again. <laughs> and chew bite people violently. No. I already said no to that. Oh. I just saw that, so... I said it out loud, Bray. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy doing game. <laughs> you were too busy staring at menus. <laughs> I'm awake, I think. Meet me in the Red Forest. Time to learn about your past. So, just like always. <laughs> so apparently the one law I saw was Crimes Against Nature Law from the 1950s, which apparently wasn't overturned Oh, which apparently wasn't overturned by a federal appeal at court until 2013. So maybe it's no longer in the law. Well, then I guess Wait. he got fined for no reason. Well, he was he was getting blown off in a car, presumably in public. In front of his house. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, Bookworm asked how long ago was it? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, like seriously, he's outside of his house. Just go inside, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I must get the the blowy job in in my car. Uh, so since she actually wants, hmm. like, I wonder. Says maybe it's a local thing. Yeah. He has a higher chance of doing medicine, so we'll come back to the Red Forest because it looks like it's not. Time like the others, like days left or whatever. Uh -uh. What we need is food and medicine. But, yeah, food and medicine is more important than dealing with my trauma. <laughs> That's another couple more moment. <laughs> I'm very focused on race, so I did not catch that. Oh, I said... <laughs> nice try, Buck. And, uh, I said, um... Basically what I said was, uh, food and trauma... 
uh, food and medicine is more important than dealing with my trauma. I mean, objectively, yeah. I need a different car for this race. Oh, there's something right there. Damn it. Break into the house. <laughs> Wait, we're up to three clips? I thought it was just going to be two. It was... Mm -mm. Bookworm knows more than what we're, they're letting on. I mean, yeah, Bookworm might want to just grab a clip from something oh. else. Okay, going up there is bad. Apparently, Moscow has a lot of radiation. <laughs> Oh, the hatchet documentary one. <laughs> They're gonna clip my rambling about hatchets stupidly. And Chew's barking. Why are you barking? Why are you doing unhinged Chew barking? It's it, like we're in a forest surrounded by radiation. What could possibly have you feeling horny? Well, radi the radiation could enlarge penises. <laughs> No, no, it wouldn't. You answered your own... Oh, Chew is on... Okay, fair. But also, what the fuck, Bray? What? That statement. <laughs> and so Chew bark. And Bookworms bonk. Bonks you. You can't go up there that way. Oh, my I flashlight's have... dead. I have, in this Hot Wheels game, I have the DeLorean from Back to the Hot Wheels 7 Future Time. And so Chew... And so chew bark, but is innocent bark only bonk for horny bark? I mean, yeah, I wasn't gonna sick bookworm on you. Oh god. As far as I saw, there's only one guard. Oh god. Radiation eyes his bones. I phased through the wall somehow. Damn. Please don't turn around, 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 please don't turn around. Did that make you horny? I killed a guy. Turn him into goo. <laughs> Our Discord stream is having a normal one. Wait, the food ammunition is up there. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, Bookworm, you mean the please don't turn around? <laughs> right, <laughs> if, if could you tell what I was doing there, bro? <laughs> the Star Wars thing or whatever? Yeah, I was trying to turn it into uh, the Duel of Fates. Okay, so I got slightly more ammo. Now, let's hope that he actually got medicine and didn't fail. Just come back to him laying there dead. <laughs> yeah, he's just dead on the ground. I think I took the wrong medicine, Mr. White. <laughs> I hear you say Mr. White. This ain't Breaking Bad, and I don't know jack shit about that show. Oh, we're about to see. Mission success. 
success. You are a failure. Okay, so F go to food distribution. No food. Normal no food. <laughs> the first second I thought it said normal no food ration. We're still gonna need more food though. Remember, the normal no food ration is uh well starvation and i did take some damage oh oh you know what i realized my psyche is off so it's not this it's not the adrenaline it's my psyche that's fucked up that we're seeing oh there's only one way to improve my psyche, apparently, and that's to drink alcohol. Oh, calming salts. Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, that does not sound like a very healthy way to go about this. What's the best way to deal with mental trauma? Drug abuse! <laughs> well, it's still on my screen. I should say substance abuse. No, I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it's yeah! Perfect. The number one doctor recommended treatment by like Holy every shit. every drunk guy at this at at the bar is alcohol. I actually cured my psyche by drinking one bottle of alcohol. <laughs> and chew rolls into a fuzzy little ball. Either way, congratulations, Bright. You are now an alcoholic. Not much has changed. Except that alcohol can affect me in the game. <laughs> True. Why do you, like, why do you ever even drink stuff like vodka? Like, does it actually taste good? Um... I just like combining it with uh, stuff. It makes it taste good. Ah, revolver calibration tool. There we go. That's what we needed to make for a, a while. Yeah, and I do enjoy the taste of it. Hmm. Let's see. Increase the magazine. The trigger system. The barrel. Stock and handle, or sights. Wait, is it possible that I can give myself an extremely long barrel for no reason? It'd probably be better to put on a sight. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, I can! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why? Sniping barrel. <laughs> I can! I can make a really long barrel. Oh, it gives me more damage. I would think it would give you more accuracy. Well, I didn't get the sniper one. I got, but I, I got a long barrel. Uh -huh. And now you can also do training. Because you got a skill point. Right. Let's see, do we want... Step one to surviving in the underbrush. Don't drink the strange liquid on the standard ground. Standard sights, but now we can also make this. I just want to see what the upgrades for the trigger system is. Hard trigger is a better sense and movement of the shot reducing the risk of firing prematurely i mean yeah you definitely don't want to go firing off prematurely sounds wrong <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh look at the second one <laughs> that's 
<laughs> what the <laughs> magazine? <laughs> revolver. That that's <laughs> fucking cursed. That is so wrong. Oh god, I hate that so bad. <laughs> that's like the uncanny valley of guns. I'm just buying a good amount of upgrades. It looks like I got the most is the range. <laughs> Probably because I put a long ass barrel on it. Wait. What? A knuckles handle? <laughs> like a brass knuckle? You just connect the brass knuckle to the handle? <laughs> what? That. <laughs> What? There is no... There is no functional reason to do that. Oh, I guess stability. Okay, I could kind of see it, but I feel like you would just generally have better control of your hand if you just hold it by the goddamn handle. The barrel's not as long as I thought it would be, but it is long. What the f What the it fuck? <laughs> Sparks. Speaking How is of it a not set into wood on fire? <laughs> um, maybe it's flame retardant wood. I don't know. Don't that waste your bullets. Look at you standing around here wasting bullets for no good reason. Igor, the man I gave you has traveled all around the world with me, but it's quite old. What do you think about building a calibration tool to upgrade it? I just did that, you dumb motherfucker. Sounds good. I'll fabricate one when I get the chance. You need it, Igor. This revolver needs an overhaul, Igor. A calibration tool would do the trick. Wait. Okay, there it goes. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. Olivier? Why is he so British? He's like Russian oh, yeah. or Ukrainian. He, oh yeah, it's no need to get him a gun. He doesn't have a gun. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your military tricks? <laughs> but I'll be... Precision. <laughs> Revolver inflicts 25% more damage to the enemies. Okay, yeah, we probably want that. Let's do it. Follow me. Follow me. Screen turns to black. That's not ominous. Okay. Now focus, Igor. You only fire on my command. Understood? You have five bullets for five targets. Stand straight, but knees relaxed. And focus on the front sight. Make each bullet count. Ready? Fire! straight with your legs spread at shoulder width then your knees a little for support line the front side up with the target Wouldn't shooting from the hip be faster about your accuracy a decent performance better than i expected to be honest damn i missed one you're a failure well i still get 25 percent more damage you failed boot camp private new perk learned precision <laughs> I didn't even know you, that when you firing failed the, the gun. You failed the most basic boot camp, Private. Now no one will ever want to go near your privates. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I would laugh if, like, a sergeant actually says that. Uh, I hate myself. So we got medicine in case either of us get hurt. Hey! Answer the radio for once, you cocksuckers! This is fucking important! Come on! Don't leave me standing here with my dick in my hand! <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Are you retarded? It's your fucking landlord, Whoa. scrot! By the way, how are you enjoying your stay, Mr. Kimenyuk? Mikhail, I'm in the middle of something. Glad you like the place. I hope you leave it in the same pristine condition you found I it. like how they fucking censored though, the R slur the in the text, but not in the... <laughs> Anton is... He was killed. 
Oh my, uh, what a pity. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, perhaps too fucking nice. Yep, I bet my last Silence, chew. got him killed. Oh. I don't think so. What do you want, Mikhail? I need you. Okay, Mikhail is a piece of shit. Wipe the NAR database. And before you no shit, he's a land war. I know you're not that kind of scientist. I'll walk you through the whole thing. Agree to do his mission. Tell him off. If I tell him off, he'll probably kick us out of our base. I should use any yeah, opportunity probably. I get to hurt NAR. Okay, I'll do it. That's my brave lad. Head to the building in the Duca complex. I'll be in touch. Everything about this man gives me sex pest vibes. Your conversation with Mikhail. Don't tell me you're actually going. Mikhail is a bit off. But he's not wrong about crippling NAR. It could buy us some time. He sounds like a sociopath. Do you trust him? No. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to deal with him. We only need him because of this warehouse. Right now, he looks more like a liability than an asset. On the other hand, he might discover something important. I don't know. Nah, it's too risky. You should ignore him. I think I'm going to go along on this one thing and see how it goes. I strongly advise against that. I know his type. He probably eats his Wheaties with cocaine in the morning. Thank you oh. for those wise words of wisdom. Let's table this discussion for now. Well, I'm not even going on that mission immediately anyways. Yeah. Supply drop. Okay, so I will go on that for a second. Or actually, let's I thought, see. No. Probably one of the funniest things I've seen, like, from, like, accidental racist stuff, is, mm -hmm. like, just a bunch of completely naive motherfuckers who, for some reason, don't, like, just, just are naive enough to not see the issue with, like, calling their, uh, group that are, like, focuses on race car driving as racists. <laughs> Hands on our four star missions for Igor. When they will conduct reconnaissance and ensure the safety of the zone. If it is successful, the number of soldiers and mobs that Igor will meet during this mission will be smaller. Use your hands for scouting when missions seem too difficult or not well prepared for them. Okay, well, I killed everyone there, so. <laughs> I don't need them to go there. Bookworm says, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, like, there was this thing where it was, like, uh, number one racists World Cup or something. And it's just, like, they're talking about cars, but uh, how are they that fucking naive? Oh. I remember, speaking of cops, I remember there was this one person for their senior prank. I don't think they were ever caught for it. But they posted a sticker that just says racist and an up arrow on a cop car on the driver's side. <laughs> <laughs> but, I think that, but I believe they also used Gorilla Glue, so it was really difficult to get off. Very good. Should have stuck. Donuts in the tailpipe. <laughs> OMG, even Batet. It sounds like Batet. something a, a British person would say instead of better, so it's Batet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm very posh. OMG, it's even Batet. <laughs> Did you hear the Queen was actually dead before the Jubilee? Sweet, I found more alcohol. Oh, what the fuck? Tanya, remember when they used to call this place the dish? They used to come here all the time. And you'd tease me whenever you got the chance. I love you, Igor. You know that. 
but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. I want you to see you challenge yourself for real this time. No more books, no more equations, no more quantum physics. After you finished your tea, I want you to take my hand and come speed skating with me. You're not going to science your way out of this. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Even though I was the ice skating champion in Muramont, I'll take it easy on you. That is the most unnatural way to introduce the information that she's like a professional ice skater. Like, he would already know that. Like, <laughs> like he's, he's just talking with her and she's like, Ah, yes. Do you remember that time I did this achievement that you already know about? Can we talk about the achievement again? Oh, God. I think I would just stand it up right where you can see. We lock eyes with each other. And nothing. <laughs> he doesn't see me. It's like, yeah, nah, there's no one there. He's used to seeing strange people appear in the bushes. There is demons. Surprise, bitch! But this time, but this time that wasn't a demon. <laughs> yeah. Now he gets to go play with his demons. Well, now he has to go suck a fat cock in hell. Oh, that's not even the right way I'm supposed to go. I just killed him for no reason. I didn't even have to go over there. <laughs> well, now he has to go suck a fat cock in hell. Oh, God. Notice like, how all of these henchmen sound exactly the same? Yeah. They have the one VA come in for all the henchmen. Wait, why can I not pull out my gun? There we go. So it won't let me pull out my gun for a moment. <laughs> what? No, I'm just th I'm just thinking about it earlier. <laughs> Why does Igor get to live in such luxury? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think Chu was here. Yeah, Chu. Er earlier, earlier in the game, Bright walks into her own room and notices that it is Igor's room and apparently just immediately forgets that her character's name is Igor and asks the question... Why does Igor get to live in such luxury? I don't see anyone. And who did I hear? I didn't see anyone. Wait, can I steal this guy's car? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Why I didn't see anyone, because he's dead. Oh. Sure that's not the guy that you killed earlier? No, I didn't go down here. Oh, that's another dead guy. Who's killing all the guys? Is it the proud racists? No, it's the Christians. Okay. <laughs> what? That feels oddly random. <laughs> yeah! Okay, now we got Wait, okay. plenty of food. Wait, okay, so the Christians killed them. I, I, is, that a, is that a confession? Yeah, Bokuman says, so you? 
Okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I am gonna need to use a health kit. Why are these fucking race tanks not the best at racing? Also, I love how being shot at, I barely take damage. But, but being punched, I can take a lot of damage. <laughs> Maybe the logic is that you're wearing, like, really bullet-resistant uh, clothing. Yeah. In which case, a blunt attack against you would logic would end up doing more damage. We also have no idea what the fuck those things are yet. They're called Shadow. They're Shadow the Hedgehog. At first, I thought it was going to be like Chernobyl goes off and creates radiation zombies, and that's just the whole game. Not yeah. whatever the hell this is, which is real interesting. Yeah. Alright, let's see how everyone did. Everyone as in you and your other guy. Okay, cool. Wow, you got a lot of good materials. <sighs> got a good amount of food for now. Oh, there for a second, I thought that the thing that said stored, I misread it as saying STD. God, Hatchet. <laughs> Just, do you want to give him food? Or an STD? Alright, hey Hatchet, you see how I have three bars right here? Yeah. Watch what happens when I drink alcohol to cure my psyche. And I'm completely cured. <laughs> uh. Alcohol cures psychological problems. <laughs> Bookworm says, I feel like this game took a lot of inspiration from the Fallout games, though I've never played them. I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Chew says squeak. Our, we should probably build something that helps with armor. You should probably build something that's uh, um, an item. I didn't like that noise you made at first, to be honest. Yeah, I, I realized halfway into making it that I needed to stop because I remembered you mentioned having issues with the grudge sound yeah i don't know what this is but i made it disclaimer the great dr bright while a doctor has no medical knowledge whatsoever please do not take her medical advice seriously true i can make a crossbow arrow apparently Wait, no. I can make every bullet except for a crossbow arrow. What the fuck? <laughs> of all the things. A crossbow bolt is significantly easier to craft. Why do you need chemicals for it? <laughs> yeah, look, I need flammable parts for all the bullets. Like, okay, flammable parts, obviously, but fucking chemical for a fucking bolt? Those things were made out of fucking metal and stick. Metal, stick, feather. That's it. That's all you need. Maybe flint. I can either make primitive armor, which barely... That doesn't give me a lot. Uh... 
You know, I will craft this. I'll craft two, that way I can give it to the other dude. I don't know what this does. I, I just got a metal plate now. I don't know why, but I have one. What? Okay. You just randomly make a metal plate. Use. Now, oh wow. I have armor now. You like, didn't I have a even lot. have armor, and you were barely being I affected by bullets. <laughs> yeah, now imagine me with armor. Seriously, what the fuck is Igor them? taking? Yes, I've seen some really fucked up shit since I became a soldier of fortune. I fought Somali pirates, trained insurgents in Latin America. I even helped squash an uprising at a diamond mine in Africa. You never felt what you were doing was somehow wrong? I never really thought about it. War is all I've ever known. Besides, it's a matter of perspective. To NAR, you and me are the bad guys. Reactionaries, terrorists. You're overthinking this. Uh, don't worry. I remember where my loyalties lie, and who's paying me. Besides, I still have a score to settle with that black mask freak. Racial shit. Can that is bad. Stuff, sure, whatever you need. It's rare to hear the term reactionary used in a game. Now he has this. Oh, I can use the metal plate to add more armor. That's what it does. Okay. Eat the metal bright. Yeah. Okay, it says right here it requires metal plate to operate. <laughs> yeah, now I can't be seen as much, so that means I can easily just do a bunch of stealth kills and not waste ammo. Which is a good thing. How come my quick menu for my gun doesn't work anymore? I have 18 bullets. You should start gathering more bullets from those you kill. You know what? Let's see. Let's see. Because our mm. condition with him is bad. Uh, so let's try... Of offer some comfort. We can build walls for him, and apparently that increases comfort. Wait, what did you say? Offer some what? Comfort. Oh, it got cut off on my end, just so you just like casually say, maybe I should <laughs> offer him some comfort. <laughs> Like, that's a completely normal thing to say in casual conversation. Uh, he now has a stool. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Oliver. You have stool. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can make for him. Too. The Donatello Hot Wheel is... In the race. Can I have this pointed right at his bed so he can never sleep? Wait, no! <laughs> okay. So if I go like this... Yep, now there there's a light pointed right at his bed the entire time. You are such a dick. 
Oh wait, says, look. I... <laughs> oh wait, wrong. I did it wrong again. And Bookworm says, I heard you hesitate for a second between come and for. So I thought you were going to say come to. Like, hello, Oliver. Would you like to commit a crime in a state of... <laughs> you, you know what's better than one light pointed at a bed? Two lights pointed at the bed. Why do you like this? <laughs> <laughs> like he's working for you you should be grateful <laughs> he's been doing a lot wait can I shoot him no <laughs> uh, craft something immediately tries to shoot it <laughs> no I tried shooting my ally <laughs> Oh, you tried shooting Oliver? That's even stupid. Why? <laughs> I don't know. God damn it. And that was my first inclination. My first Get assumption was that you shot at Oliver. Time is and then I think, nah, Bright's not Bright's not gonna do that. He must have just shot at the thing she made. No. <laughs> Book no. versus Oliver is gonna kill you. Oh wait, no, it's not Oliver, it's Olivier. That's right. Olivier. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the lights are still going. <laughs> God, why? Why are you like this? Right. Why do you why do you torment NPCs with shit like this? Aren't we enough? Forty-four percent. I don't like that. Fifty-five percent. That's greater. Sixty-six percent. The Donatello car is making me mad. Right will be on the wrong side of the robot uprising. All the NBC shade torments will get their revenge, lol. <laughs> While he's getting medicine, uh, I'll go to the Red Forest. Alright. Now we get one mission out of the way. God, this stupid fucking Ninja Turtle needs to stop driving so quickly. What? <laughs> they just had a context. Just the stand ninja turtle. Well, all all four of the ninja turtles have a car in this game. And I'm racing against Donatello and he's basically been the only one that's competing properly. Why did I get transported three hundred miles away? <laughs> Because you went to the Red Forest, I guess? No, I'm just gonna have my gun out. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna be attacked. Oh no, it wasn't... I, I was mistaken. That's not the Donatello car. That's the Leonardo car. How dare you mix up turtles. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Over and over again. Just you wait. It's you to walk 300 miles. You to walk 300 more. God damn it, Fuck bookworm. You. <laughs> Fuck you, bookworm. <laughs> Hey, Hatchet, what does that say? Uh. <laughs> uh, 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 welcome to Mother Russia. I don't know. 
Welcome to Mother Russia, population several threes. Oh yeah, I killed a guy here before. I shot him in the dick to kill him. Here in Mother Russia. Russia rushes your Russian. Duh. GG, no re. Is that an explosive barrel? No. Why are you wasting so many bullets? It's fine, I'll just send my friend to go on ammo mission, because apparently that's what he's best at. <laughs> Not getting food or medicine, but ammo. He eats bullets. And I got more ammo. Oh, it's a Vagabond. I, I just... Customer. Want to make the deal of your life? You're not afraid of trading here? Ah, I know what I'm doing, my good sir. I've been trading since the fall of the Soviet Union. And besides, no risk, no gain. Sounds like you've traveled a lot. Ah, the Grand Bazaar in Tehran, Jarmak, Europa in Warsaw, Taksim in Istanbul. I've been places, my friend. Oh, the things I've seen. I'll bet you have. I have to ask, how does desolate Pripyat compare to these colorful places? Hey, where there's demand, I provide supply. I'm the invisible hand of the free market. I've got Putin, Trump, and Gates on my speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> what about Steve Jobs? What? Yeah, him too. Of course. Anyway, I have Putin, Trump, and Gates but on speed dial. Is also good. You want to trade? Good luck building Why? your fortune, Mr. Invisible Hand. Why would someone uh, thanks. But I'll who knows Trump luck. and Putin and Gates and Gates and wh whoever else? Why would someone with those connections be hanging out out here? Hmm. This Kozlov guy seems to be important. Perhaps I should meet with him and ask about Tatiana. Uh, to General V. Kozlov. Head of military operations regarding Operation Ghost World. You are hereby given the full authority to assist Professor uh, Seminoid from Splatoon and containing the crisis. It's. Oh my. Oh my. Fu <laughs> oh fucking hell. I don't even play the game and you just gave me literal <laughs> cancer. What did you. What the fuck did you just call that? Oh no, I wasn't trying to say the name. I was uh, just I just gave them a name. <laughs> Salmonid. Yeah. It's, it's Salmonid. Oh. <laughs> Use whatever means necessary, including lethal force. All military assets are at your disposal. Feel free to request an additional transfer of funds to cover all expenditures and cause the potential collateral damage. All hostiles must be neutralized at any cost. Our main facility must re remain operational. Uh, Splatoon creatures research on Chernob <laughs> Chernobyl life is a top priority. All other considerations are secondary. Uh, I was gonna say, bookworm, don't don't head patter bonk the chew. This violence is very appropriate. <laughs> Violently bites Bright's fingers. <laughs> I pissed off you. <laughs> no shit. No gaming for you. Yeah, fuck your gate. I jumped over it. <laughs> Wait. Fuck your gates. I just realized I'm running towards that. Yes. Why am I staring at a tree branch? How is this a clue? Well, you see. to find among these trees, Igor. You tell me, my love. You brought me here. What are you talking about, Igor? Are you losing your mind? Frankly, yes. I think I might be. 
You came here because there's something you need to understand. Something to do with those dead trees. What they are, what they represent. They're not dead. Not entirely. The radiation from the disaster killed all the microbes, which slowed decay almost to a halt. The Red Forest is like a snapshot in time. But there are signs that nature may recover. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Every inch of this area is still badly irradiated. Perhaps this horror will give birth to something entirely new. Perhaps it already has. New? Strange. Foreign. Alien. Something unfathomable. New. There's more I want you to see. Real, real talk. There is not enough radiation there to cause super significant damage or create something new. Oh yes, let's just go right into the toxic gas. Okay, we can't go there. We can't do this mission yet. We need a gas mask. Good job, Bright. Oh, I didn't say requirements. Good job, Bright. I will just take this. Bright. But yeah, like... Like, whether or not the wildlife around Chernobyl has actually suffered is quite literally a topic up for debate within academia. And, like, if it's causing severe mutations of any kind, like, it's it's just, like, it's still trying to be discussed. Was that like the, I might be wrong about this, because I've only heard that it, it was. Wasn't the zombie deer disease, or I forgot its actual name created by the Chernobyl disaster? You've looked this up on stream before. Oh. And you were wrong. Oh, it right. It was not. It originates in fucking mid... like, midwestern United States. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, then why do people say it's the result of the Chernobyl disaster? <laughs> because humans are stupid. Because humans like making dumb little statements to make things sound more sensationalist than they are. But yeah, like, as of right now, there's a lot of conflicting reports as to whether or not uh, the wildlife around Chernobyl is thriving, or if it's being heavily detrimented. We just, like, it's the, 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 fu the fucking board is out on that question. Because nuclear fear mongering. Yeah, fair. Oh, sweet. He actually killed them all. Oh, wait, what did I have him do? Oh, yeah, he got. Wait, for medicine, he got an alcohol bottle and mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to Ukraine, bitch. <laughs> we got Floy and Anita in these parts, duh. Okay, so I need to improve electricity, or he's going to keep being mad at me. Probably one of my favorite examples of just, like, bizarre hyping up of just, like, unfounded BS surrounding nuclear stuff is that rumor that, uh, uh, what's, what's the, uh, what's his name? Um, why am I forgetting the guy's name? Something Wayne. John Wayne? That's not right. Is that right? You think of John Wayne Gacy or something like that? Not John Wayne Gacy. Like, a Hollywood actor. Yeah, I don't know. Barrel Grill Simulator. <laughs> Says Zonju. Oh. We now have power. Oh, I actually built two. That's not right. Uh, it's not I need to go look this up. Am I thinking of John Wayne? I like how he's not mad that I added two of these to stare at his bed constantly. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Okay, yeah, John John Wayne. It's what I'm thinking of. There was a common rumor 
that he uh what'd you say oh uh, I, I was trying to make a third light three point at his bed but i don't have enough herbs mm. um there's a common rumor that uh he and a whole bunch of the cast of a really shitty film called the conqueror died from cancer because uh the uh set was downwind of nuclear fallout from a uh testing facility i think in nevada um and it it's it was basically heavily fueled by downwinders movement where you have a whole bunch of people claiming without actual evidence that being downwind of like this very minute amount of nuclear fallout is causing a massive amount of cancer and it's just like uh um what the fuck <laughs> that's uh... not you need to understand it wasn't my decision to shut down ariadna i don't blame you grace but i still think it's a mistake it's so much more than pandora it allows us to step into the realm of human memories and thoughts. Into the real world. What can I tell you, Igor? The board decided it wasn't financially viable. It was too... outlandish. So they were trying to invade people's minds and memories. Or something. Ah, the force! Every object is a natural dosimeter. Everything absorbs radioactive particles throughout its life. Thus creating an echo in time and space. Ariadna can recreate this echo in a fractal VR simulation. There's nothing outlandish about it. Look, I get it. I do. It's your life's work. But just think about it. No. Uh-oh. The process requires an unbelievable amount of power. It's impractical at this stage. What about those nuclear nano-diamond batteries? that use the graphite from recycled radioactive waste. That's just another project right now, Igor. I still don't think it would be enough. For Ariadna to work, you need a power source that doesn't exist yet. Perhaps one that cannot be found on Earth. Oh. I'm sorry, Igor. It's over. You need to accept it and move on. Igor is Dr. Octopus. Fuck the board. I'm not going to let anyone destroy my work. Wake up. Wake up, Igor. Tanya? I should say Dr. Octavius. I'm waiting for you, my love. Find me. Hurry. I don't have much time left. I'm trying, Tanya. I really am. I need to look at my board. A first clue. When I find more, I can feed the data to Ariadna and see what really happened to Tanya. Note to self, focus on finding more clues. I misheard what he said as, I need to look at my balls. <laughs> Okay, you go to do a supply draw. I think I'll try doing this, because I actually killed everyone. <laughs> so all I have to do is look for the documents. But yeah, like... This thing about, like, specifically downwinders where people are... Who would have thought that there were secret silver <sighs> scattered around? There you go, it's hard to drink Maybe some water. It's hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary after all. It's not just something this one just has to look at their balls. Uh. <laughs> anyway, um. Mm -hmm. We were like a whole bunch of these people that start calling themselves the downwinders were talking about how, like, they, they basically just start blaming. The majority of cases of cancer in their region on the fact that they were downwind of a nuclear testing site and they they just kept pushing this and pushing this and pushing this and scientists researched it and found pretty much no correlation 
no correlation to the fallout and to their cancers. The only thing they found was a higher rate of childhood leukemia, which was of note. But, like, basically all other forms of cancer were not being caused by the nuclear okay. fallout. Something saw me for a quick second there. Yeah. And I had to go towards it. Fine. That's not fair. Oh God, Why are you still crouching? What? Why would you just sit there and keep crouching? Gosh. I only have two bullets left now, so I can only do stealth kills. Uh. Luckily, I, f I remember I can make plenty of bullets. Alright. Oh wait, I think I took it off. It looked like it said equip. Yeah, armor equipped. Yeah, but it didn't show the armor thing down there. Oh. So yeah, I took it off. Since I don't really have any ammo to use. Chu does not know how to best continue being unhinged. Mm. Oh, I got more ammo. Uh... So, Bright, do you just never think to try to aim for the head? Oh, no, that, that creature will actually teleport to the side or whatever and, like, dodge your bullets. That's what it was doing. Even though I fired right at it, it would move. Right as I fire. So, yeah. Shit, there's two of them. Transfer to secure storage in bunker 007. Hmm. It's dated April of 86. Looks like they moved all the important records after the Chernobyl disaster. We can find the bunker later. Just keep searching. See what else we can dig up. It goes away. You want to move, so I now have to do a gun. Equip. Hurry up, reload. Bitch. Uh, to major, uh, whoever, as we previously agreed, all critical documents, more DMs, or and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to the secure area in Bunker 007 at Emerald Camp. Burn the rest of the archives immediately. Agent L. V. Bitch. Not good with Russian names. So, my psyche key is low, so that means I gotta drink alcohol. In the field? Apparently. <laughs> Ooh. 
use. Might as well gain some health. Anyway, I think I need to take a break because my head's hurting like hell. That's fair. Uh, I, I might. Or when are you planning to end stream? Uh, midnight, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I might hop back on before you go, but otherwise, have a have a good night. Me too. Now it just leaves me and all of you, and there's no one in here that can stop me from doing what I want to do. We're all doomed to suffer my stupidity. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> gotcha before you can kill me, bitch. There's a second one? I didn't... Need a second one? They're all locked in here to each other. Not seen anyone. Anybody around here that wants to get a nice stab in the ass? So I'm the crazy but stabber. I don't mind stabbing you in the ass. Open them. Oh. Really enough no one around. Which disappoints me. I want to stab someone in the ass. Oh, there it is. Kill them all? The great rat catcher in the sky 
How do I get out? That's some bullshit. Also, not die. I just stuck in here. Vigilant I report 0697-C in relation to meeting with Agent Splinter in BG-1204-1986. Place the dish. Cafe P. Comrade Major Stepanov. I attended a meeting with, other, with our Special Surveillance Officer Splinter and one of our assets from Power Plant BG. As planned, we meet at, at our regular rendezvous point. The purpose of this meeting was to further include BG in our operations to keep him delivering information on Dorothy. We brief BG on how to proceed with, it, with his encounters relating to Dorothy and how to gather more information about her possible involvement with Imperial spy operations at the power plant and Duga project. BG's input has been a great value to our work so far. After BG left, we discussed our current strategy in the event of a serious threat to the Duga project. It was decided that we sh should any circumstance threaten the project, a CIA act sabotage that Dorothy might be part of was mentioned, although Agent Splinter was skeptical about the possibility. We will remove all archives and transfer them into an undisclosed location in the event that this action is impossible. I recommend destroying any files that are unable to be moved due to time constraints. Secrecy of the project is of paramount concern. If leaked and the damage would be catastrophic. Also due to safety concerns, we will no longer be using the dish as our meeting point. Agent L. Maybe I should rearm the traps. What? Why? Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to... To what? Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks into one of the traps? Your Leave it. too risky. I can't chance killing some Samuel who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. Fuck yeah. From our courtesy, I have a first aid kit. Let's go ahead and pick up all these on the way out. Uh, they're over this way.
Alright, that's the clue. Ah, lockpick. Yeah. Of course! See, now I don't have fucking lockpicks, I can't get that shit. Yeah. I don't have to leave and I somehow get killed by something. I can just... It was a portal. See you later, bitches. Yeah! We got more food. Yeah, we're gonna need to get more food. That is deeply concerning. I did not notice that way over, uh, way over there. What in the fuck? Here, let's see if I can make a farm now. Yes, I can. Good for us to actually have a bunch of growing food or materials. Let's see. Damn it, I still don't have any herbs. Now, yeah, we have 10 ammo. Don't need to drink alcohol right now to improve my psyche. So at this moment, we can just go to bed. Igor, Igor, I need you. I need you now. Tanya? Meet me in the Pripyat residential area. There's a helicopter there, so that's probably not the best.
Hmm. I guess we try this and hopefully it's not that radioactive field again. So I don't have a gas mask. Oh, hello. <laughs> so far as nothing. That's concerning. Ha! Huh. Let's take all that. Well, I can't exactly go in there. Oh, whoa, okay. That's not creepy. No matter what, I shall continue forth and stab as many butts as possible. And Bookworm, there is nothing you can do to stop me. There is a problem. I cannot continue forward. Yeah, I cannot continue forward. towards one of these question mark things. Oh. Oh, wait. That was towards the person. What the hell? How did this happen? Uh, it stopped me from butt-stabbing people. to kill yourself i'm not stupid i know i'm not getting out of this uh, at least uh, let me end it before another one of those things shows up uh, or kill me at least you're a human attempt to free him i'm not coming up so fast maybe there's a station there must be some way to get you out of this you're free to look for one just uh, don't leave me hanging huh Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have the technology to break this yet. Oh. Well, yes, I do. Well, I'll be damned. I was sure I was a goner. <sighs> Thank you. Maybe be more careful from now on. Hmm? I will. Listen up. I'll remember your face. Uh, hopefully I can return the favor one day. He's dead. Listen. 
Talking to these people aren't bad. So now I'm gaining Ella. Can't go this way. There's one guy that's over this way. Wait, can I actually go in here? Now I know how to make that shit disappear. But I just need to look for the crystal. Bitch. I can see you. I can see your thoughts. Oh, it's taking you so long. Find me. We belong together. Take my hand. I'll show you a new world. A world that you've never seen before. All dead, stuck in Chernobylite crystals, crushed, suffocated. Reach a new level. Well, I didn't actually save anyone that time. Oh, this is Become happening. invisible. None of you are safe. That didn't work. That was stupid. So what's the point of coming in here? Just see a creepy doll, okay. Is that all the special missions that I can do? Nope. Yeah, wait, well, yes, because that's the only other special area is in the radioactive area and I can't go there. So yeah. That's so all I can do for now. At least I was able to find some food. So I can't do that story mission yet. Which means the hacking one is probably the only one I can do yet. Mission failed. You failed? Uh, 
Mission Crane gets hurt badly. Can I start helping Psyche? Preoccupied. I've been thinking about the nuclear disasters in the West. They never got as much coverage in the press as Chernobyl. Not anything like it. Isn't that odd? Maybe. Uh, Americans just wanted to distract the world from what was going on in their own nuclear backyard. Interesting. Some might call it a conspiracy theory, but do you think Chernobylite has already been discovered someplace else? I really don't know. But if nuclear fusion is the key, then we should probably expect it to appear in other places. Hanford, Windscale, Boucher, Fukushima. There are about 450 operational nuclear reactors in the world right now. Yeah. Something to think about, eh? But let's focus on what's in front of us. One problem at a time, Professor. Right. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure. Whatever you need. I can't. Okay. What's going on, Igor? Do you think you could find some time to teach me? <laughs> but I'll be. Hmm. I would like to have more That's still. It. I want to be a sneaky butt stabber. Very sneaky Slytherin butt stabber. I'm going to share some techniques I learned in Joint Task Force 2. During a mission, it's usually better to sneak in and out rather than gun down every opponent. That's what I'm going to teach you today. Stealth. Let's start with some basics. Try to sneak past me using available cover. Remember to stay low. Keep quiet and move quickly whenever you're out in the open. Be like a ghost. I didn't realize it was right there. to sneak up on them? Or do I just leave? Stealth kill my own teammate. Well done, Igor. 
You're a natural. Damn straight. You did great, Igor. But remember, there's no such thing as too much practice. Now. Should be able to to handle stealth a lot better. Let's be more stealthy now. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get some uh food missions. Rhino three, this is Bluebird. Do you read? Over. This is Rhino three, reading you loud and clear, Bluebird. Over. Rhino three, change of plans. Jack Frost is heading for the Capache Kindergarten. ETA three hours. Provide support for a helo. Over. We'll call Bluebird. We're moving out. ETA two hours. Over and out. Jack Frost? That's an old nickname me and Boris gave Professor Semenov when we were still students. Could it be? He brought me here to Pripyat years ago. Helped me get Tatiana a position too. And now he works for NAR? He must have his reasons. And he's always been a brilliant scientist. He's still my best shot at finding Tatiana. I need to see him. Your old mentor, huh? Try and find him if you think it's important. Just be extra careful. I'm always careful, Olivier. You'll most likely have an escort. Try to sneak past. Don't go Rambo on them. Well, let's see if I can sneak past with my new skill, stealth. I got Gordon this. Seminoff, a good old Jack Frost. You must wonder what happened to him all those years ago. Why would he work with the NAR, my love? Surely he must have a good explanation. He was always kind to us. Yes. Fuck. Fuck is that thing? I don't think it's chasing me. I don't think it is. Oh god. There's apparently a guy right over here that I can help. <laughs> the fuck was that? Ah. The KGB operator's nickname. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was. 
Interesting. Well, back to doing the task at hand. I thought I can go through there, but I can't. God. I hate being outside. Cold, wet, full of mosquitoes all biting you in the dick. Ooh. That was so fucking close. Oh, you don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. I'm just a bunch of grass. Nothing though for you to worry about. Oh, there was another path right here. I don't want to actually activate that. I don't get it. We dispatched an entire squad to fly in here and escort this old fart just so he can dig through some papers? This old fart is more valuable to them than an entire battalion of grunts like you. Guess I'm in the wrong line of work, huh? Not at all, Sasha. I think you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Nope, you don't see me. Wait for him to turn around. Wait, is it no one here? Oh, I hear a guy walking. Is 
Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. He keeps staring in the direction where I was going. The mosquito bites you and dick. I think you'd have something wrong there. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. See anyone or else around. Don't see anyone else around. Don't see anyone else around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, take him out, take him out. Go, 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 go. <gasps> oh, hi there. <laughs> He just stared at his crotch. So I just gotta wait for this guy to come back. Come back, come back. The second he turns around, I run up and stealth kill him. Since this guy's looking the other way, he won't be able to see me. I'll get another good kill. I'll get three kills. How's it going? Yeah, bitch. And goodbye. <laughs> I'm just coming near perfect assassin. And drink some alcohol. Heal my psyche. You. I'm surprised to see you here. You are. Down. You remember me, Professor Semenov, don't you? It's been a long time. I thought you would have retired by now. But I guess there's no rest for a man of science like you and me. Igor, it's so good to see you. But what are you doing here? It's not safe. What are you doing here, Professor? Are you... Are you really working for NER? Do you know what they're doing in the zone? How they treat the... Summer shells. Please, Igor, slow down. My concern is science, as it always has been. The politics and administrative piffle. I leave to others. Then what are you doing here, exactly? You don't need to worry about me. I haven't turned into Dr. Mengele. I study the local, uh, fauna. They're very peculiar, very dangerous. You must have run into them at some point. Maybe. There are reports dating back from before the Chernobyl catastrophe. It's very important that we gather every bit of available information. Let the man catch his breath. Otherwise, he may become suspicious. He was probably forced to work for NAR. That's my guess.
The shadows, yes. They seem to have some connection to Chernobylite. So you know about Chernobylite? Did you get a chance to yeah. see it? Perhaps we could compare notes. And what about yourself, Igor? Why are you here? This is a restricted area, as you must know. I haven't seen Tatiana in 30 years. I... I seem to have some blank spots in my memory. I can't remember what happened the night of the disaster. I need to find her. I need to find out what happened to us. Reactor number four. That was a real disaster. Some of our colleagues paid the ultimate price for this misguided experiment. That's what happens when politicians are placed in charge of scientists. And Tatiana, such a sweet girl, and your friend Boris, you three were inseparable. I called you my three musketeers, remember? <laughs> yep. Look, my security detail will be back soon to collect me. I don't want them to hurt you or start asking questions. How can I get in touch? I will find you. Now, go. Awesome. We might have another ally. Fuck yeah! Bookworm, did I do a good job? <laughs> yeah, about time. <laughs> yeah! What do you mean I failed it? What? 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 It's because I didn't want run away. I decided to use the portal. That's fucking stupid. I was right at the fucking end, and I fucked it up. Rise and shine, Igor. Tatiana? There are things you need to face. Find me in Pripyat. Tatiana? She's gone. Again. <laughs> that is the worst. I'm gonna have to redo that mission, because... I mean, I killed three guards that are at right outside, so... Yeah, I can redo it. Because of all these story missions, I can't... I can't get anything like food or medicine or more ammo or anything like that. Gorgi Semenov, a good old Jack Frost. You must wonder what happened to him all the... Right at the fucking end. Whoa, whoops. You saw nothing. God, about that. Oh, 
Well, hi there. Oh, yeah. That's... Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. More guards than usual. Patrolling Pripyat almost makes you wish you were someplace else. And even if I do have to kill the guys again, luckily I'm, like, literally right fucking there. I, I know how to deal with them. Like, easily. Like, so luckily all of them are separated from one another, so you can stealth kill each and every one. That is still fucking annoying. Holy shit, we're in a Shrek swamp. I'm sorry. I'm immature. <laughs> Hopefully, there shouldn't be any guards. They should still be dead. Damn it. <laughs> oh, we're about to find out if there's still guards. Oh, yep, there's still guards. <laughs> Nope, you don't see me, 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 you don't see me. I'm not moving. I'm not so. Hey, you get the fuck away. What is that one guard? The only other guard is way over there. Quickly. Quickly. Yeah, and we're in. Woo. That's right, bitches. You. I'm surprised to see you. It's Igor. Come on down. I thought you would have. Igor, what are you doing here, Professor? You know what they'd please. Igor, then what are you doing? You don't need to worry about They're very peculiar. There are reports that. With the man catches, he was probably. Confirm. Yes. So you know about Chinook? What about yourself, Eagle? I haven't seen such a... I need to find her. Reactor number four. That's what happens when... I'm Tatiana. Look, my... How can I get in touch? I will find you. Now.
Oh god, there's... Oh, I can just go out this way. See ya, bitches! Oh, I needed to leave out the other way. No, it wants me to go back inside the house. Why? Oh, God. Goodbye, bitch. Now I'm more along the lines of confused as how to finish this mission. Apparently. Looks like there's something else inside this house I need to do. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. Hi, Hatchet. No. Oh, not. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's not gone. He's not gone. You know what? Fine. Hatchet! <laughs> I was talking about you. <laughs> I get in the very first thing I hear is get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. It's just so poorly timed. My God, geez. I thought I was welcome here. Yeah. Christ, what kind of experiments have the KGB been conducting? Is the oh, NAR trying to continue? Yeah, uh, we might be getting a friend. Because apparently the scientist dude, we did- I decided to uh, believe him in every which way. And uh, he says- I. That he'll meet up with me eventually. So. The scientist, dude. Well, he's a scientist who studies uh, fauna. So. However. Fauna? Yeah, fauna. He studies. Oh, fauna. Yeah. It's not like you just said fawn. He studies fawn. Just a single fawn. It's <laughs> just one deer. <laughs> just one. One fucking baby deer. Success. Right. Yeah, we have a bit of a problem now. Uh, we have no food. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Your brain just degraded. I just took some pills. I think. That's a lot of, that's... Okay, now there's more helicopters coming around. Probably because I'm just going after all their shit. <laughs> oh. I know you were saying fauna, so I thought Hatchet was just saying fawn like a mythical creature. That's what Bookworm said. Fawn like a mythical creature? I don't know that mythical creature. I wouldn't know either. But also, I am very happy. Mm -hmm. My my mom is getting increasingly larger amounts of enjoyment out of watching Attack on Titan with me. Ah. We are about to start watching the final season. <laughs> oh. What? It's also crazy to think that 
the quote unquote final season. I'm all ears. Uh, Got some intel that needs acting on. NAR is preparing a huge shipment of munitions, maybe food as well. We can't let this opportunity go. Yeah, we really can't. We have no food. <laughs> oh, fawn. A half human, half goat mythological mythological figure. Similar to satyrs. I don't know if they're an exact thing or not. Um, okay. That makes sense. Okay, so I should go. Okay, so I need chance of success 73%, so I am betting on him to do this. Well, I do the Jesus. monster hunt. I want to see what this monster is like. Fuck Jesus it. Fuck. What? Uh, I... I opened up my browser and immediately had something playing. If he fails, you're screwed, lol. Yeah, we, we literally are. Festus. It's my lad. My chunky boy. Alright, motherfucking bitch. Come out here. And face me like a man. Or a woman. Or whatever the fuck you are. Face me like an individual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the man thing, I there was this one feminist that I knew that didn't want to be called a woman because the word man is in it. That's not much of a feminist. <laughs> yeah. That's more like a Tumblr blog feminist. <laughs> As I was going to say, um, it's crazy to think about the fact that the quote-unquote final season of Attack on Titan has lasted two years and I'm is dead. approximate and is like very close to half the length of the entire series. Uh, Igor, first death. It's not the end. I won't let it You died like at the this. very beginning, I think. Go. Though I think you were Die. supposed to. Fade. Portal, yeah. help, die, Igor. So what did she want to be called? Oh yeah, because female. Wait, what the fuck? Don't be afraid to die. Death is not a part of progress. And can let you out of a situation with no way out. However, in the future, death will be punished with loss of random items, so you won't always benefit from it. Oh. Oh, uh, Bookworm asks, so what did she want to be called? Just by the supposed feminist. Just by her name. Oh, yeah. I want to change this memory, change memory. Ahead, Igor. Change the past. Also, hey, Adorno. Hands where I can see them. What's the password? Nostalgia. We don't have time for games, Olivier. Can't you tell it's me? You picked the password. Let's just stick to the rules, shall we? Come on in. And if you could change any of your shift, decisions... Right. Huh. E. I don't know what you fully what I did, but okay. Or would it create an alternate universe? This is your chance hmm. to rethink the decisions you've made. Uh, wait a minute, that's shut. The fabric of space -time wait a minute. Reality. A chance to alter your timeline. I did, I did not agree to be shut in here. We can be together, Igor, but you have to learn the truth if you truly want to find me. I 
I'm in North Korea. Okay, that looks... No, you're not. <laughs> oh, yeah, the game looks really good. Yeah? Uh, as mm -hmm. Bookworm was asking, so, you, uh, I don't know for context, right a little bit before you showed, mentioned that at some point she's met a feminist who didn't want to be called woman because the word man was in her, in, in that word. So what the... So so what the what the flying fuck did she want to be called? Like I said, just their name. Oh, just her name. Oh, I missed that. Rise and shine, yeah. Igor. Tatiana? Uh, things you need to face. Find me. Well, like, yeah, that makes sense, but like Honestly, like at that point I would be like Anybody Yeah, uh Hey! This is fucking him. Who is this? Who is Mikhail? Glad you like Oh, Wait, how oh, far boy. back did it send me? This far back. Oh shoot, I didn't hear this dialogue and I just skipped I'll part of it. <laughs> I'm right. a dumbass. <laughs> hey, you skipped the entire dialogue. Your conversation with Mikhail. Uh, Don't tell me you're actually... hate you. Mikhail is a bit off, but he's not wrong. He's sound. No. We own on the other hand. Now, I think I'm going to I'm literally gonna just do right. one more mission. I've already heard this dialogue. I just didn't hear them that the radio one. There was definitely some new dialogue there. Oh. Right. Okay, we heard this. That's that's the mission well, I sent him on. And shoot at a monster hunt instead and let me do the weapon transport. <laughs> Just don't die, uh. Whoever your name is. Wait, did you go to. The wants to play oh, yeah, also hi to. For him, um, everything is war. And the spoils of war. What about you, my darling? What is your mission? The NAR doesn't care about anything or anyone. Deaths are just numbers on a page for that greedy corporate beast. No. And the beast won't allow you to pull out its teeth so easily. I just unlocked the Stegosaurus Hot Wheel. Oh yeah, Hatchet, you missed it. I improved my stealth so much that me and the guard were just staring at each other bushy when like yeah, then my mom was playing tricks on me and walked away. <laughs> we were staring at each other. <laughs> yep. Nice dino car. Yeah, I now have the Stegosaurus car, which is named Motosaurus or Motorsaurus. And I also have uh, the Triceratra, which is a Triceratops themed Hot Wheels car. Ironically enough, though, from what, from the looks of it, the Stegosaurus is significantly better, which is not biologically accurate. Olivier, I'm up on the roof. There's a signal flare in the distance. I assume it's red? Yes. Must be the drop zone. That's your target. Time to roll. Good luck. Yes, yeah. sir. Olivier, sir. <laughs> she was, she didn't hear me like, so hi. So let's do our best. I heard you. I'm Go just, ahead. um, okay. playing my, uh, my game. Don't let NAR spot you. And don't take more than you can easily carry. You hear that, Bright? No hoarding. Oh, God, this thing is disgusting. No whoring. Got it. Oh, Hoarding. Oh, well, sex work. Timmy, sex work is fine. <laughs> and I cut off a journal. What were you trying to say? <laughs> um, okay. I, I was gonna be. I was gonna say. To be fair, for Bright, that's 
that's an easy like thing. Oh yeah, true. For her to do. But for, for Chu, I. Mm... Okay, Chu, just be tied to a bed. That's such a random <laughs> statement. <laughs> right? Why specifically right? that? <laughs> well, you, you do, you do uh, know that that is the kink, right? Is it Chu's kink, though? Chu? <laughs> Sue, are you into getting to getting <laughs> trapped on a bed? Is the chew into bondage? <laughs> I don't know. What do my test results say? Looks like Cosmo really pulled some strings this time. I don't know. I feel like I remember you being into bondage. Surprise, motherfucker! I got it. Okay, let's it's try triple. this. Three. Let's try this again. How do I dodge this? You don't. Ow! It's literally turning this into a game of the floor is lava. Hey, it's rope bunny. It's the motherfucker. Die. Well, I Book killed. <laughs> Bookworm says, Dr. Drago, what are the patient's results? Ow! Wait, which, the which... hell? The, the Chew. The Chew patient. Okay. Oh god. Oh, hi there! How the hell do I dodge this? It isn't fair. I didn't know there was like two other people that also ran over Your towards the body. Just finally caught up with you. Who knows what the NAR will do to you now? You don't want to find out what they have planned for you, my love. You have to find a way out fast. Did I do it? Like? No. Oh God, no, okay, I didn't. Yeah. So, so Hatch. Hmm. Here's results. Rope bunny. Eighty-six percent. What the. Fuck. Oh, my head. Okay, yeah, so. Where the hell am I? Well, that's a yes. I have to find my yeah. generator. Well, that was You're right, you? No, I died. Wait, yeah. why am I the one tied up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Quote it. Quote it. Oh, God. So you got captured by the yeah, N NRA or whatever. Uh, NRA. We're gonna start calling it the NRA now. What? It doesn't give me time to dodge when it starts. Whoop. See you, bitch. Can't kill me. Okay. Cannot build while your life is in danger. Fuck. Oh wait, I can I can fist fight him. They left the US to go international. Fuck you, bitch. Then they would be the IRA. I literally wait, just stabbed that, that him one's dead. Wait, isn't that one's also taken? No. The NRA becomes the IRA. This is awful. Uh, why don't you shut the fuck up and be grateful that you don't have to scrub the toilet, huh? Alright, alright, I'll just go ahead and do it this way. I'm just checking out that funny pistol in the back tight. No idea if I'm going the right way. Uh, I hate this. I hate this boss so much. What are you doing? I'm, pl I'm finally continuing Metroid Dread, uh. and I'm I I'm stuck because this guy this boss fight is ass. So so that there's a quote. It gives me no time to react. When the first attack starts, 
<laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, Hatch, you might... You might like your flow. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, is this in Bright server or... Well... Not Bright. Bright. Uh, quotes and things, 19. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Fuck you, bitch! Furious <laughs> but stabber strikes again. Very good quote. Wait. <laughs> Wait. You, you said what? The craze butt stabber <laughs> strikes again. Okay, another quote. Uh... <laughs> I don't mind Let being called a craze butt stabber. <laughs> Let that joke die. No. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm cooking something. It sounds like Something's you said you're cooking, cooking something. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the hell? Cooking? No, what the hell? No, 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 no. I, I feel like she might, at, at this point, she might rather be fucking something. True. I'm very angry. I hate well, this. I'm... I mean, if Chew's cucking something, it would imply that they're also fucking something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I said fucking, but... Uh, Alright, let's try again. Okay. Good. Ow! This fight is bull. This fight is bull. This fight is bull. Oh my god. There's there's a community made tent of the Stegosaurus car that makes it oh, look like cool. Bowser. Oh, that's awesome. I am equipping that. Yeah, this game has a lot of customizability as well as like you can oh, yeah. basically share any customizations you have so that other players oh, yeah. of the game can use them. I'm I'm play I'm currently playing it too. <laughs> oh oh you got it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got Sweet. it for free. Oh really? uh, like months ago. Oh I didn't yeah, know. It was that. On, uh, yeah, it was on PlayStation Plus. Ah. Uh, well PlayStation Plus. Uh, uh, monthly thing. And I escaped the cops. Hmm. And I even got to stab their asses. Then, as a side note, if you at some point get the car, uh, Dark Ruser and Skull Crusher, those are the two cars that I've made trans themed uh, hmm. skins for. I'm not sure if you'd be, I, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get them cross compatible. I, I, I made a like trans theme skin for like one of the cars that one of the cars I have so oh we both failed well time to starve it's damn <laughs> that sounds like a skill issue I am so angry deal with it <laughs> I don't want to do this boss fight it upsets me boss fight in what game? Metroid Dread. Ooh. You got this shoe. No, I don't. It literally gives me no time to react for the first attack. Ow. Oh, a laser clay machine unlocked this item. What? 
laboratory. Yeah. Nah. Let's figure out where the the laser cutting machine is. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Good job, bookworm. I am going to toss a photo of the Bowser Motosaurus in gaming chat. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cool. Bullshit advice screen. Some of these attacks are in fact unavoidable. Don't lie to me. Have you considered okay. unskilling your issue? <laughs> the game is telling you bullshit like, no attack is unavoidable. Well, how about when the game gives me literally zero seconds to react? Sounds like a skill issue. Just, no. slow, just slow down time. Okay. Bookworm says maybe they aren't and you just need to get good. Good job. Let me figure out where the laser cutting machine is. It's right behind you. That's what I actually need in order to actually build something that fills up with food. Holy fucking shit, what the hell is this? Oh, what the? Radiation chamber? <laughs> I see. Oh, so that's what I'm now. supposed to do. Ow! Dick. Okay, however, I will make this. Mainly on account of the fact that I can finally get a fucking gas mask. Okay, nope. Nope, this is GG's. GG's. Wait, I'm not dead yet. Okay, never mind. Was it GG's? Yeah. And now I you died or as in you won? I died. Can you get me a first aid kit? Appreciate it. I feel better already. Also, I don't know how this stegosaurus is this fucking fast. He's just built different. Wait, instead of worrying about food. Ow. Instead of worrying about food and medicine, he's worried about it being the place being comfortable and light blinking. <laughs> he's quite literally worried about first world issues. He sounds like he might be autistic. Oh, or have an uh, eating disorder. Uh, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do. He wants to be comfortable as he dies. <laughs> Gotta have good hospice care. Just Don't worry, that. I'll give him something that actually increases comfortability. Uh, stop placing <laughs> lights on. Why are you wasting your money like this? <laughs> now there's three lights pointed right not, at his bed. Not money, but resources. <laughs> Three lives. Anyway. Save game. Yes, that's 10 seconds ago. Let's save the special area. Well, I mean, need anything. Okay, whatever. Yes. My god, I hate playing Flappy Bird. 
Oh god, I hate this. <laughs> the last thing they heard before I put stream ending thing on was choosing. <laughs> oh god, I hate playing Flappy Bird. <laughs> it's still a uh, stream is still going, but the, I, I just find that funny. Yeah. Um. Book my last words go, and yes, I will be rating Red Joker. Don't worry. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it does look like Bowser. It's so good. <laughs> too, when you get a chance, you should look at it too. I already saw it. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> Folks says he wants to be comfortable as he dies. Gotta have good hospice care. I read that out. Oh, I didn't hear. I wasn't paying attention to you. I was busy placing the lights. <laughs> so, wow. Not only do you not read your own chat, but you also don't pay attention to your own voice chat. Uh, Hush. No. Also, also, I'm pretty sure that is a unique pattern. I don't know if I've seen that like the shell pattern in the customizer. So they might have just like actually taken the time to create shell a shell like pattern out of the various shapes. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more bad medical takes. Give her money and maybe she'll stop making these takes. Not likely. Brooklyn's final words are head patting the chip. No, Brooklyn says like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more bad medical takes. Uh, give her money and maybe she'll stop making these takes. Not likely. <laughs> no, if you give her money while she's making the takes, she'll just make more. <laughs> That's how this works. Have you, like, have you paid attention to any fucking reactionary scam artists? Alright, anyway, uh, Chu, last words, go. Um, support Bright. Um, do not make the poor life decision I made to play this fucking game. Hmm. Uh, Adarna, last words, go. Even now you're muted. The long-awaited silence of the Adarna. The fuck does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> you just say shit. Yes, I do. <laughs> Constantly. Just <laughs> throws random words together and thinks that it works it makes um, good eclipse <laughs> also can potentially get you in trouble in the future some of them so maybe right but bright <laughs> yes they they have... i did it it's the hot wheel literally car. if you had any form of plat, like any form of like actual like like following or any like any actual like any influence, you you probably would have been um, canceled. So, it is very important to mention that. When trying to say the bright is over party, your channel is so botched that hashtag bright is over party is misspelled, so it's just hashtag bright is over part. <laughs> That's how botched you are. That's your hashtag. 
No, 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 no. It's it's not even bright is over part. It's just bright is over par. <laughs> oh no, I'm reading like what bookworm put. Oh. <laughs> Teen wire so close on the phone. Yeah. So so bookworm meant to put party, but ended up just putting two T's. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Darn, your last words before I raid. Um. Follow, subscribe. Support Bray and um, please help her get become. Be, 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 we, 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 please, Bray. Um, what? It, have some form of filter. Filter, yes. Maybe. Bookworm says, and bonk yourself like Hatchet is doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hatchet, last words, go. Yeah, you man is a bird. Humanity is Aaron Yeager. No. The, the dodos are the rest of the world. Any questions? Well. Yeah. <laughs> she just she just immediately says no. Also, I don't think Bookworm Chu and Aderna were here to hear this, so I'll redo it. Um, in my state, uh, if you. Basically, if you touch any form of sand, like on standing on top of sand in my state, you get fined five hundred dollars if you cuss. There you go. <laughs> if a police officer sees it. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a thing in my state. It's a thing because <laughs> they see the sand as part of a beach, so it counts. That's how it's seen. <laughs> So you can't cuss on a beach? Nope. Yeah. That's that's what the law is. <laughs> a lot of it's kind of cop season. season in VA. Yeah. <laughs> Still they don't see, see cops ever. <laughs> Watch them like just do it like any time somebody like I I posed the idea of uh, someone being brought into court because of that, like they they just they they cussed on the sand out <laughs> out out at the beach, and the court's like, nope, you're you're coming to court. And then in court, the person pulls out like a an a, like like a baggie of sand, dumps it on the floor of the courtroom, and cusses out the judge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh. oh, god damn it. Okay, it would be fun. The, the, one of the funny things, the funny thought like I had when you were like saying that, Hatch was like, they just, like, instead of pulling out the bag of sand, they literally just pull out their phone, like, where, like, they literally have evidence well, of fast. where they were when that happened. <laughs> uh hmm. what's up right our writing word for no reason would just be radio no context will ever be given it's all just... lowercase yeah Very all lowercase all lowercase radio yeah, yeah radio no context <laughs> plain text that's it all right in three two one. Oh my goodness, great Dr. Wright. Oh, I burp. Okay, snooze that, snooze that. Okay.